Hi, welcome all of you. Nana here, and then uh, we are going to begin the next uh, weekend. Actually, and this is the third weekend on which we are now working upon. And then uh, in this one, uh, we are going to begin a very tough to topic. In fact, it is a very very tough one. Fine. We are going to begin configurator now. Fine. So we are now begin configurator. It is a very tough one. So keenly watch, and then uh, whenever you have any doubts, you please may it raise your voice, and then I will not try to clarify your questions. Clarify your doubts. So let me go on and share the screen. <clears throat> so if you go there. Have a look at it. <clears throat> so I let me open up my fusion order management documentation. Fine. You go there, open up the fusion order management documentation. You go there. And then you'll be finding one configurator exercise on the fusion order management documentation. You will now find one configurator exercise. Open it up. Fine. We are going to create this uh, configurator actually. Fine. This is a configurator exercise. Double click on the Excel sheet. And again, fusion order management documentation, configurator exercise. Fine, double click on it. You know, open it up. So the first activity you have to do is what? It is a generic numbering. And then uh, you have to change the numbers. Fine. We have got plenty of what happens. Uh, we have a model in the top. We'll be having option classes below, which we'll be having a yeah, bill actually. And then uh, these are all the, this is a, it's called a two level, two layer, layer bill. One model will have four option classes. And then every option classes will be having standard items in the bill actually. So we're going to have what happens uh, four such uh, bills we are going to create in the lower level and then one bill in the top level <clears throat> and then these are the items which are going to create actually so here what i will do is everybody uh, uh, changes uh, see all the standard items all the finished good items will be starting on 60 and then all the models and option classes will be beginning on 70 actually. so i'm going to replace everything with uh, my own numbering now kind of like one. so i have already used 1t1 so i will now use 1t2 for 60 and then 1t3 for 70 actually I keep my cursor somewhere else and then I give a control H, control H, find what is 60, and do that. replace with <coughs> 1T2. <coughs> I'm going to replace with 1T2. Fine. Control H is a 1. I'm now keeping my cursor on the top and then I'm going to replace my click on replace all. So click on replace all. You've got 28 replacements being done. Fine. 28 replacements. Click on OK. Fine. You must be getting 28. Whenever you're doing it also, you just make a check whether you're getting the 28 or not. And click on OK. Fine. 28 replacements. Right. Click on OK. And again, I will now query for 70 now. <clears throat> I will now query for 70. And then replace with them with 1T3 now. 1T3. Fine. Click on replace all. So 10 replacements are made. <clears throat> okay, fine. Click on OK. Fine. Go there. You save your sheet now. Fine. Your configurator exercise sheet is just saved. Now we are going to begin creating the item actually. So now uh, we have to create a what happens a structure actually. And then the structure I will not show you in my instance how it is not possible and then what you have to do for that. First of all, right? when you're creating a structure, you have a bill basically. When you're going to make a bill, your bill will be having a parent and then it'll be having multiple components. And then uh, before you make a bill, you must know this. Right? When you go to the field, you must know this. So let me go there and then log in. This ESLL, fortunately, it is still working. I hope that how many of you are working upon, I'm not sure about it. So please try to complete everything because this instance is working very well, actually. Uh, uh, work day and night and then try to complete all the exercises. Otherwise, what happens when you go and then switch over to the vision instances, people have corrupted the vision instance to a great extent, actually. Here, at least no corruption there. So it's working very fine. So as long as it works fine, please take advantage of the instance and then practice everything at the earliest. So I'm now logging into a 1T1 now. And then go there. I will now go to the product management. And then go there. Click on it. I'm on a one t one instance. I'll go there. So go there. I will now go to the product management. So here you will be finding one configurator model. Is that fine? Once when you give a uh, what's called a product data steward role, this will be coming automatically. But you need a license for this. For using the configurator, if you don't have a license, it will not work at all. Fine. Your product data steward role will now bring in the configurator model, but you need a license for uh, what happens uh, uh, configuring it actually. So let me go to the product information management. <coughs> and then let me query one of the items. I'll now go to the browse items and then query one of my items here now. So go to the browse items and then let me query the standard order item. So go there. It's a 1T1 underscore STD is a one point. Enter it. I'm going to query it. So let me query it. So the item has been assigned to both the ops. Fine. Go there. 1T11 and then 1T12. So 1T11, I have already made it enabled for making a structure actually. A bill, it can be made. Now 1T1 has not been made. Let me go on and show it to you. So let me click on the 1T12. 
0.1212. Here, this org is not enabled for structure creation, actually. This org is not enabled for structure creation. Go back to one. So let me right click on the duplicate. Always have some uh, two or three uh, things over here, and also that it will be easy for you to put up on your phone. So go there. So I will not go to the structure straight away. I want to create a bill below this now. Click on structures. So click on structures. I want to get a bill. Structures I'm going to create. Structures is nothing but a bill now. Fine. For which this is the parent, and then I'm not going to add a component. I'm going to the actions, and I'm going to create. So I'm in the structures area, and then I'm going to create a structure actually. So I will not drop down. <clears throat> I will not choose what. Uh, your primary structure. Okay, okay. So I will not put on the description. Paste it on this. I will not click on OK. <clears throat> so we are now quite trying to create a structure actually. So it is not throwing an error. You do not have the required data privileges to create or update the structure. And remember, whenever you're doing in the field for any or the function security and data security is a must. If you don't give it, we cannot create a structure at all. Fine. Whereas for a normal item creation, if you remove the governance and compliance, that's more than sufficient. We give answer long time to that point as well. So you're unable to create a structure. So if you go there, click on it now. I will not show you uh, here in this place. We'll not go there, click on it. I will not show you. Governance and uh, if PIM is installed, there you will have to talk to the PIM team now. Fine. So if PIM is not installed, you remove the governance and compliance, it will definitely work. But uh, Nalin is saying, even without removing, it's working for him now. Fine. So, but again, uh, it's all uh, high level. And then uh, you have to learn PIM now, first of all. You go to the product management, now go there. So go there, click on it. I will not go to the opt-in features and then remove governance and consolidation. You will be able to create items very well. But he's saying that it's enabled and then doing it. Maybe the PIM team might have made some modification. So if PIM is not licensed, what happens? You better remove it. Right? That will definitely data governance and data consolidation remove it. Fine, that's sufficient. But for structure creation, we have to give one more now. Fine, that is called function security and data security for every org, including master. Org. So I'm not going to give the function security and data security for my child org. So click on the fine. So on the what's called on your uh, offerings, actions, and then go to offerings, you remove governance and consolidation, you can very well create the item. But for structure creation, what happens? You go there, click on it. We'll now go to the manage item class. And click on search now. <clears throat> go there. Go to manage item class. Anybody has got any doubts, please ask me because I'm going at a higher speed now. So uh, at this speed, uh, you must, if you're finding difficulty or if you have any doubts, ask me then and there. Select it and click on edit. I'm going to add function security and data security. This was a must in release 9, 10, and 11 also. From 12 uh, onwards, what happens is they have removed this security for item creation, actually. At least. Previously, what happens even for item creation, the function security and data security is a must. So go there. Now, for a structure creation, we need it now. I go to the security tab. I go to the security tab. We never go over there at all. We never, we directly go to the life cycle phases and then we go to the template and then create our own templates and then do it now. Now, for creating a bomb, you need to have a security. Fact, on security. And remember, it is required for the most store goals. I, and since I have already given, I'm not going to do it. Now. Click on plus. Now. I'm going to give a function security first of all. <clears throat> that. So it is a group. Fine. Do not go for a person level. Group level is sufficient. Now. Fine. Only when you are in the PIM, we have to go for other levels. Actually. When you are implementing PIM, you will be learning a lot on this now. So go there. You put product data steward now. Fine. <clears throat> data steward. Fine. This is sufficient. Then give a tab. And then choose Vora. Fine. Everything will be coming. So choose the Vora. Vora is the best one now. Fine. So Vora was the one. Go there. And then choose it. <clears throat> you got two ones. You will know how to choose the appropriate one now. Go there. So this is the one. So this is a job. And this is a job copy actually. So if you see this uh, clearly seen, I know, there's a job copy and don't it. So do, choose this one now, fine. Vora, Vora is the best one. And again, talk to the people who know about uh, the role creation and all, fine. What are the EGA and then what are the Vora, everything they will take. But if you're implementing it, use Vora and then that will work perfectly for you, fine. It has got full powers to basically, fine, click on OK. Now you put your organization, fine, for that. My organization is what? 1T12 is a one, fine, give a tab and then save now, fine. This completes the function security for this one. The function security is now completed. Now we are going to give a data security. Select it and go down now. So we are going to go down and then give us data security. Go down. So you can you are in this line actually. 1T12 has to come over here. Fine. This is a data security. Data steward 1T1 actions is now coming. So the name you are given after saving it, what happens? You you have a look at it whether it is there or not. That has to come. Now we are going to give a data security. And again, only for PIM, you have to what happens give a restricted uh, data security. But for, for pure uh, inventory or pure bomb, you have to give everything. Go to the actions and then go to select that. And then we are going to give complete power. 
the full data security has been so click on search now fine don't selectively do it click on search and then give everything and go there so there are so many data security is now coming fine go there click on plenty of things are there so like what happens the made in item class and the invoicing grouping fine it is basically 16 groups of attributes are there in ebus it has been reduced to seven now fine so this is now going to give you powers to each and every group like mrp item pack people physical group fine all these things everything is now you're going to give a power now you're going to power item revision so there's plenty of things are there so go there in the by the side of the action there is a small dabba if you click on the dabba all of them will be selected in one go now fine click on it everything gets selected in one go fine go there and then keep okay now click on apply and then click on okay by which one happens the complete one is now selected now click on apply whether if you go down everything is now selected actually everything is now selected and click on okay and then come out of it is all that so now so these actions are uh, seeded huh? yeah actions are seeded actually all the actions are seeded actually fine nothing is nothing is basically customized customizable actually but uh, with the pim we can do wonders on this part there are so many modifications are there on the pim but unfortunately what happens you won't find too many customers uh, opting for pim actually uh, out of 100 maybe 3 or 4 maybe opting for it and then your company will be getting one uh, and so uh, learning this will not be helpful for you fine i don't i don't what happens i recommend otherwise you have a specific project on pim do not go on and learn it fine you won't be it is not a very common one actually Uh, nana one other question uh, is this uh, root item class mandatory without oh, yes. is there a way to bypass this no no that is the only class which you have to use not right no other class to be used actually no, no. so click on save and close but in fact what happens uh, my people have done it for some other purposes not fine so the uh, below classes below the root item classes uh, will be having a greater implication only on pip but uh, my student has done created multiple classes below the root item class only for report making actually and yes done Fine. Yes, nicely done. Fine. So you can even. Like, no, 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 this is for master work, right? Not for the oh, child work, no, no, no. right? No, no, no. Uh, see, master work also. The thing which I have done, the function security and data security is a must for both master and child. Remember, I have already done for the master. I am not doing it. So master, there is one T one zero and then one T one one. I have already done. So one T one two, I have not done. I have done it for each and every hour. This is a must if you are going to create a bomb. A bell metal is going to be. And then. Do not create this many it is, people just like that with the half knowledge. They create all this. Fine. It is not really required at all. Fine. But my student in one of the implementations in Kenya, he has created a raw material class, a finished good class, a maintenance class like that. What happens? Get it? And then he has created the items only in those classes. So that what happens? He can now really create a report. Report making only will help in a pure inventory. Only when you have a PIM license, you will have greater meaning on this. Because the PIM PIM manager is very busy, so so we can even create our own item attributes. The transactional attributes we can very well create pages and attribute groups are there. So these two tab regions will come into picture on a PIM or PIM license actually. There you may have to have multiple levels of what happens hierarchical what happens your group item classes basically. Otherwise, for pure inventory, don't actually. We don't know. Do. I have my student has given a document also. It may be available in one of the additional documents. Just make a check, man. He has given me a document on how to create your own attributes and all these things. But I have all forgot. He has given a document. I, I whenever he put it, I will not put it on my what happens at my kitty, and then it will be there actually. <clears throat> so it is not done. Now, if you go there and then create one, fine. For that point, if you go to this place, I will not give a cancel, <clears throat> come out of it, and I will not make a re-query. So click on search now, fine. One search for. So, so I'll click on that. Do and dot. Now it will be possible for us to create a structure actually. So go there. What are the structures? I can very well create it. So click click on create now, fine. Go there. So I will now drop it down and then make it as a primary. So click on OK. And then if you click on apply and add details, it will now go inside. It is not gone. So previously we were throwing an error now, fine. Now what happens? We can very well. It will now create it. Fine. Go there. If you click on the primary, we can very well. What happens? We can even go on that. Add elements to it actually. Can add elements to it, so this is very much possible. I can add it. Elements can be added to it, so the boom bomb can be created. Only when you have a function security and data security for every R, and that's it. Fine. Any questions on this? I'm not going to log out of it. And unfortunately, I don't know how to manufacture in my R. Uh, that portion is still not known to me. When I'm creating a work order, it is failing actually. So nobody is teaching me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Vision actually for this configurator model because manufacturing. I I know how to do only on a vision, but vision uh, working is really a bad one because it's all fully set now, fine. And then uh, many people demonstrate everything on the vision only. That is a real bad one. And then I am also following it up mainly because I don't know how to manufacture in my own. 
So I am now going over there. So I will now choose SCM07 for this config letter exercise. So the password is again welcome one to three with init caps. Fine, init caps, first letter is capital. And click on sign in and go there. You can also use the same thing. Otherwise, you can make, take any one of the SCM01 to SCM40 and then log in. And then if you're creating your own or your own, what happens? Uh, password, password is same now. Fine. <clears throat> welcome one to three. Capital W. Okay. Fine. I have already given you now for F01 EMP. Welcome one to three is the password. W fine. W is the capital. I'm going to use the same one everywhere now. Got it now, fine. <clears throat> okay, good. So that way you have to work upon fine. The password is all same now. So let me close this now, fine. And if you are creating your own user now, fine. That's what you are creating your own user, <clears throat> you can also create your own user also. I know that. I will now open it up. So if you are creating your user on a vision, fine. If you are creating your own user on a vision, fine. Go that to it. So if you go to the global, if you go to the vision enterprise structure, when you are creating your own user on a vision, fine. What you have to do is you have to give the LE and BU. Fine. LE must be US one legal entity, and then the BU must be US one business unit. If you are creating it, so that means what you are on a vision's line of business. In which case, what happens if you add three roles? That is sufficient. Fine. It is equivalent to your SCM zero one uh, dot student up to SCM forty dot student. If you create your own legal user. With US one legal entity as well as US one business entity, you are now under the visions line of business. And go that one. Then the case, what happens? What you have to do is you go there. Uh, visions roles, fine. Or do you have yes? There is nothing yes. Yes, fifty-eight vision roles. You add these three roles to your new user, it will work for everything. For inventory, it is I think, but combination of all the visions one. And there is a PRC all for procurement, and then GSE SC roles for the same. So on the uh, additional docs for. Additional uh, document, additional four. You have a fifty-eighth document which explains you about the vision roles. So, if you are going to have your own user on the vision structure with your uh, visions, really, and be you, if you are creating a legal user, then you attach these three users, these three roles. It will now work for everything actually. Got it? It will now work for all the three modules for visions one. Fine. There is no need for you to add any data access at all. Fine. If you are using it now, data access is not required. Now you have given lots of data access, but On a vision, if you give this, what I was saying, no data access is required because they are all inbuilt in this now. I am not giving a lot of additional informations. Please run the video and then uh, what happens? You take notes. No, fine. That is very very important. I am talking a lot. Fine. You will not be able to remember whatever I speak. Fine. You please take notes on a word file. Whatever I speak now. Now, I am not going to work on zero five one R, which is the vision R. I will not start to create from six to eighteen. Which is a finished good template now. So let me go on and take copy the first item. Take copy. We will now go on and create ours. <clears throat> we will now create ours. We will now create our item. What up? We go there. I closed everything about. I have closed it everything. So let me go to the yes or no, and then let me log in as a CM zero <clears> seven <throat> actually. By mistake, I closed it. So SCM zero seven dot student. It is welcome one two three capital W, and then you can even set if you are using any other SCMs, please set it to only welcome one two three with the capital W unit caps. So click on it. Now go to the product management and then create the items. Go to the product management, and then here we are going to go to the configurator later on. So product information management. And then uh, whenever you go, then what happens? You go there. Click on it. Now create item. So click on create item. So we will not paste this item over here. I have taken a copy of it, but uh, while I'm doing it, I made some mistake. I will not put zero zero zero. This is a must star. Click on it. So it comes over here. Fine. This is a VFG design item. This is okay. Fine. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then we will not giving you a star. We will not create all the finished good items. So it's the eight GB RAM. Fine. Click on it and then paste it over here. Fine. So it has got some extra spaces. Delete it now. Delete. Delete. So it's extra space. Paste it over here. One delete all the extra spaces because I don't know how it has got gone into my Excel sheet. I don't know. And the Excel sheet somewhere other it has gone in. You know, it deleted. So eight GB RAM is now getting created. Thank you, sir. So go to the associations and then let me associate to that zero five one R because there only I can manufacture it. I don't know how to manufacture it in Malaysia. That's why I'm using the zero five one. Zero five one R. Click on apply. Click on apply. So the first item is created. Eight GB RAM is ready. So give us even close. Fine. We'll not go on and get our second item. Next item. So the first item, it is a finished good item. It is now created. So the item, what am I going to go there? We'll not take up a 16 GB RAM. 
think of it. And remember, everything is now one T two so is the prefix for this now. Check on it. We already modified it. Check on it now, and then we have to get it now in this place now. Zero zero zero. There. So click on OK. <clears throat> click on yes. So you want to paste it over here. Delete, delete. And two times you have to delete. So then the extra spaces will be getting create uh, will be removed now. Three times more. So go to the associations. Other let me associate with the child of that. Go to the actions one. Go to self mode. So we are going to associate it. And zero five one. If I make any mistake, please then and there you point out to me so that what I was uh, later on when I'm simulating it, I won't be landing up on a problem. Go there. So click on save and close and then go there. And take up the third item. So the first three items belongs to this bill actually. So click on create. Zero zero zero. zero. No, no, sir. A question here. We have seen a number of items. One, if I make it two, will it give me the range here, no, no, sir? Because I have not explored it. I couldn't understand your question at all. Can you? So when, when you are saying create item, you are keying in the item. Yeah, you yeah. Are, there is a number of items. Yeah, there. Uh, it will not create, but use it only for pin. No, fine. That is only for what I'm saying. If an item is now having a rule for creation, at the time only you will be using it. Otherwise, for a normal one, you import it via item import actually. Otherwise, uh, do not use two or three items. Where items will be having a prefix, and then you will be doing it. Now. That way, it will be done, and not for your normal items. For only for PIM, it will be basically PIM, and then Data Hub. Uh, they'll be using multiple items to be created in one go. Actually, that items will be having a prefix, and then it will be having a running number. Correct. Right? So Thanks. normally you won't create like this at all. You won't be creating like this. You will be only importing it through FBDA in the field. Only for demonstration, we are not doing it individually. But one lakh items, I cannot create it individually. You only have to import it. So the first three components are not done. We go for the second bill. So go there. Second bill. So the second bill is what? Two year warranty. Two year ex ex extended warranty. If I go take off it and go there. So click on it. Okay. If I make a mistake, please there and there point out to me. Fine. Keep a keen watch of it now because I'm speaking and doing. I may tend to make mistakes actually. Don't go for number of items as a two or three and all. Right. So uh, uh, it's uh, basically I don't know how to do those things. Now. Nana, we don't have any copy item feature like you know copy yeah, A yeah. as B, B as C. Something. There it is. There it is all there. Right. A as B, B as C. Everything is there. So you try to make an R and D small there. Right. I'm putting only zero five one everywhere. Now you just make a check of it also. If there is a copy items and everything is there. But wherever you have to first of all copy and paste this now, at least. <laughs> so we are only doing that now, and nothing else other than that. Save and close. So go there, click on it. So we'll now go for the UPS now. Take off it. Go for the UPS. Click on it. We'll now go and look at the UPS. Create up. Zero, zero, zero. Fine. Create from copy. It is there. And see, it is there. But the work is almost same now. You won't find much of a work reduction actually. Delete all the extra spaces because we don't do other than that. You go simply association and associate it. Action select man and then associate to a 051 R. So click on apply and then click on that. <clears throat> so go there, save and close. So UPS is not completed. Go there. Okay, now go to the exclusion test. Actually, this exclusion test, I'm not using it because uh, previously I used to demonstrate in a very complex manner. Actually, nowadays I'm not demonstrating it actually. I leave it to people for the lab exercise. Exclusion test will not be demonstrated in this study. It's not having any extra space. In here. here it is having extra space. There it is not showing any extra space. So go to the associations and let me associate with China. Go to the for select plant and then let me associate to 051. Any doubts anybody has got? Tell me. This is a very complex topic. It's not an easy topic at all. So check that uh, UPS item, sir. Did you select the org properly? I didn't. Uh, I think it, you're not selected. Just check once, sir. UPS I not selected the org. Yeah. yeah. Child item assignment is. Uh, like yeah. <clears throat> Buddha over okay, here. Forgetting things. <laughs> no, no. We'll also do, sir. It's not that. Not <laughs> <laughs> Please, please. Okay, man. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, 
Premier Information Bank or the associations in Anglo Labor Actions, self NAP. And then let me see it to 051. Bug is up to you, right? Everything else is okay. Yeah, rest all okay. Save and close. So afterwards, not happens. We are completing the exclusion test. Now you go for the broadband. So click on that. Now go for the broadband. So click on create now. So the answer can now be done. Slowly, slowly can now be done. So click on it. So the broadband, I'm going to paste it over here, and then delete all the extra spaces now. And then click on it. Paste it over here, right? Extra spaces. Associations are good there. Let me associate with the child dot. What actions are we going to select that? So we can associate with the child dot. Zero five one. Select it and click on apply and then <clears throat> save and close. Then after we move over the camera. That is for the third bill, basically. So click on it. Click on create now. Zero zero zero. So we are going to create uh, five bills actually in total. So click on OK. Yes. For the third bill, we are now creating the components section. Go to the associations. <coughs> the good actions and go to selection act. Zero five one of the one. So click on OK. Then drop it down. Second close. That's it. Camera is not done. You go to the camera. Next is what? There is a 720p camera. This is a 1080p camera. So go to the grade. They are all taken only from the standard examples of Oracle. I don't have anything. Oracle has got some standard examples for a configure. If you download the configured documents or user guides or implementation guides, everything. Because one of my student has given me people that I have said the standard ones as I take it up. <laughs> so I am using this one. When you use computers, you can easily understand that is the biggest advantage. Nana sir, uh, this is Amit. So we created these option class as well, right? Earlier. We are not I'm creating. Sorry. We are not creating only the uh, the standard items only. We are creating. We are not creating. Okay. So, uh, okay. We are now we started only with the sixth item onwards. No? So can okay. No, is external mic. We go there. We now create this external mic. We are not creating this. You came late or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, I joined a little late. Uh, stand up on the bench, now, right? you should not be late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go there. Paste it over. So, go to the associations and then let me associate with the child. Please carefully watch. If I make a mistake, immediately tell me. Now, fine. 0, 5, 1, and 1. Enter in. Select it and then click on apply and then find that the mic is now getting created. External mic, find go there. So save and close and go there and then do the next one. Now, right? We go for the final bill, find graphic card. The graphic card is the final bill, find that point. Now go there, click on it, now create it. So click on data, you're going to get it the final. One. So it's a zero, zero, zero. <coughs> Operations, right? click on OK. So for the final bill, we are now creating the components actually. Paste it over here, visual, visual. Post it in the remote this book. <clears throat> so go to the associations and get associated with the child or actions such that. 051 is the one. Enter it now. <clears throat> Select and click on offline and done. So the graphics card is now created. <clears throat> now go there. And now take the joystick. Joystick. Click on it. Then now go to the create it up. Better not create this joystick. Zero, zero, zero. So click on OK. <clears throat> Tomorrow we'll be manufacturing this product. So we'll now go to the associations. <clears throat> what an action going to self connect? Zero five one one. Zero five one. Save and close. So the last finished good items I'm going to create. So click on create. So zero zero zero. Click on OK. <clears throat> click on S. So we are now creating the last finished good items. Zero five one 
what are the associations that let me associate with the child now? Self So, 0, 5, 1, 1, So, we have now completed all the finished good items. So, we are now going to make a check whether everything is there in place or not. So, we will now go to the browse items and then make a check. Now, go to the browse items. So, uh, we were using what? 1T2. So, 1T2. So, we won't be having any specific item other than this one. Right? 1T2. And then let me add the organizations what? 0, 5, 1. So, we will now see whether everything is there or not. I click on search. So, hide all the kind of Let us now count it actually. 8GB, 16GB, one year warranty. You must see. 8GB, 16GB, one year warranty is there. Then afterwards, a two-year extended warranty, UPS, and then exclusion test, and then broadband. So two-year ex extended warranty, fine, UPS exclusion test. So broadband, I'm not going to use it. I have now bypassed it. And even though I have now created an item as a broadband, I'm not going to use it in the second bill. Only these three items will be used now. So broadband, I'm going to use it. In third bill, uh, yeah, 720p camera, 1080p camera, and then external mic. 720p camera. <clears throat> And then 1080p camera on the next one. Like the, bill. the final bill is what? Graphic card, joysticks, and then mouse pad. So you go there. Is the graphics card, joystick, and mouse pad. Everything is there. So all of them are there. Click on them. Perfect. We'll now go and then create our three, four option classes. One, one two, three, four. Four ATO option classes. ATO option classes are only manufacturable. PTO option classes cannot be manufactured. You can only pick and ship. Whereas here, you can even interface it to manufacturing. So I'm now going to create all the four ATO option classes. We are going to create We are going to create an item. And remember, for an option class, the option class has to remain as an item as well as a bill also. Whereas for a standard item, it can be remain as an item only. And it need not be necessarily be made as a bill actually. Whereas for option class, it has to be remaining as a what item as well as a bill, and then it should have been common to the uh, what happens your common one now. Right? So uh, it has to be common also. Remember. So please uh, take a note. I am not speaking a lot. So. Uh, because I'm not exactly going into manufacturing fully, actually, fine. So I'm only giving you a glimpse of manufacturing on this. No, fine. Okay. So every option class must exist as an item. It must exist as a bill. And then the bill should have been common to uh, your, uh, let us say, I have a main bill in my master. It should have been common to master. If a main bill is in the sixth hour, it has to be common to sixth hour, wherever you're creating. So it's the usual practice to create your uh, main bill only on the master. But it may even vary from time to so, okay. In the meantime, what happened? I made a mistake actually. Fine. I made a mistake. No? Again. Comment means uh, I did not get it. <laughs> See, let us say I have a, a what's called my design, engineering and design department in, uh, let us say, uh, in uh, Delhi. No? So, the Delhi says this option class will be having what? One 8 GB RAM component, 16 GB component, and then one, one year warranty. So, after having created it, I am going to assign this build to Bombay. In the Bombay, nobody should make a change at all. If they want to add one more component or let's say 8 GB and two numbers, if they want to make a change, they cannot change it. So if a bill is commented to Bombay, naturally what happens is they can only view it, they cannot edit it actually. So every usable bomb must be commented from the main. So we normally create, uh, so it is customary practice to create the entire bill in the master which is going to be your design and drawing organization. Sometimes what happens, it doesn't make it. Right? So let's say, in my case, let's say Delhi is my master. And then I may have, what happens, uh, Noida as my engineering and design office. So that is again a child art. It is not a master. So if my engineering and design organization, that is the sixth organization residing in, uh, in Noida, then every bill must be created only in Noida and then commented to what happens, uh, all the child. Let's say I have uh, child dogs in Madras, Bombay and Calcutta. So from Noida, you have to common it to Madras, Bombay and Calcutta, in which case the Delhi will never come into picture at all. So here, bill is now getting created in what happens uh, in Noida and not on master actually. It's a very complex situation. I, mean, <laughs> I can't explain much on this training actually. In the manufacturing, it will be done through the... So, uh, so, so in a, in a, now you know, we are creating the bill in the master only. Normally, it's a usual practice. It's a usual practice to create the uh, what happens your master, yeah, master. But it may so happen that your master org will be residing in some location, and then your engineering and design office maybe in a, some other location. In that case, this has to be followed. Wherever your engineering and design organization is there, there only you will not create every bill. 
and then common it to all the using using organization all the all the child logs where it is using as it is used in notes okay fine yeah. it's like making sure all the components and the item attributes of a bill are same across all the parent child organizations master as well child the gb component is there fine was that i am not going to assign it to uh, the 051 or fine the item should have been also assigned then only i can comment it otherwise i cannot comment when i try to comment from the master into the child I, the all the components should have been assigned to that place all the components must be assigned to the child or then only i can comment it otherwise i cannot comment it a commentable can only be viewed it cannot be edited got it now my a commentable can only be used and then it cannot be edited actually <clears throat> it's a very very complex topic friend you will be understand so whatever i speak please take a note of it when you run it please take a note of it i am not going if to get if it is in uh, if it is in the if the bill is common in the master it no, will no, be edited it's not common to the master it is created in the master now. all bills will be created in the master which is going to be your design and uh, engineering department your engineer so it can be edited right yeah in the master we can very well edit it so in the master i get gb ram if you make a change to what three three quantities it will be getting reflected on madras bombay and calcutta three quantities they only can okay okay what if we have to change we have to go to master and then change exactly not in the engineering and design uh, departments where you have made the bill then you have to go on and make a change and you cannot change in any other common organization you cannot change the bill in any other common common organization okay good so this one is so let me first of all go on and create my first ato model when i am talking i made a mistake actually i'm going to keep on page up i'm going to go on and create 000 <coughs> so click on it and click on okay right no 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 i should not give okay i should remove this and then i will not bring in a ato model template fine that one let me bring a ato model template so ato model template ato it is a ato option class remember it is not a ato model it is a ato option class so click on it bring it to the right hand side and then click on okay now it is now ato option class fine click on this now and then paste it i love that i will go to the end i will not delete all the extra spaces two extra spaces by that i delete it so this is going to be a ato option class so go there they go to the associations and then let me associate with the child now go back to now go to the next So zero five one is the one. Ah, uh, Nara sir, you chose the user item type as eighty option class, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will like do for the second item. Just keep keenly watch now, fine. So seven two. So first model, you must have at least one selection now, fine. Oh God, here what happens? The eighty model class is not having a life cycle phase. Let me have a production. Okay. So we'll not see whether it allows or not. And sometimes what happens? It doesn't allow at all. When you make a change afterwards, it doesn't allow. We'll not see whether it allows or not. Fine. On same one, fine. Sometimes it doesn't allow. It is not allowing you. Fine with that. So first of all, you have to fill up this southern only item number. Fine with that. It is not allowing me. So if this is not done, it will not allow you to save also. This are all bug actually. What to do? The bug is still there actually. Zero zero zero. <coughs> Go there. So let me apply the template. Get your option class. Get your option class. I bring it over here. Now fine. Click on OK. So before I populate the item number. What happens? You have to fill up these four information as well as your units of measures also. Go there. The overview, the units of measures also must be there. If this and this is not there, please do not populate because there is a bug. It is not allowing you. Fine. Paste it over here now. Delete extra spaces. Click on it. I want to delete the extra spaces. Now you go there. Go to the associations. So the first ADU option class is now under creation actually. Zero five one as an item. Now this is now uh, remaining in the system only as an item, and then assigned to both the places. Save and close. So the first option class is now created. You now go over there. You now take up the next one. Okay. Accessories mandatory option class. I'm going to take a look. So click on create now. Creating it. So zero zero zero. So go there. Throw it out. And go there. It is the ADU option class. I bring it in over there. ADU option class. So remove that one selected template and then put the ADU option class over here now. And then make a change to production now. This will be useful only in PIM now. Fine. Otherwise, it is a mandatory field, so we have to put it. Otherwise, it will not work at all. You don't have any usage in this thing at all in your uh, uh, supply chain. We don't have any usage on life cycle case. So there is no extra space at all. Fine for that one. So it is not coming up here. No answer. So go there. Go to the associations, and then let me associate the child. Now. 
So we are now creating the second model now. Second option class rather. Second option class we are creating. Click on apply and then click on that. So go there. Save and close. Second option class. So we have got four option classes and then one model now. So the one, the two, and then the three and four. So we'll now go for the third one now. Fine, select it. And then take a copy of it. Now go for the third one. Click on it. We're going to create an item. So we are creating an item now. Zero, zero, zero. So throw it out and then bring in the ATO model, ATO option class. ATO option class. These are all seeded ones that will be available for you in the field also. No need to create it all. And then make it as a production. This bug, I'm seeing it for the past five years now. They are not yet corrected actually. Still there. Why, why should not you do it afterwards after pasting the item and description? Come on here, Bekar. Go to the associations. And then let me associate with the child. Select that. 051. Click on apply and then click on that. Uh, Nana, sir, maybe uh, a wrong question, but uh, can we not update the AT option class template itself? Template you can very well update. Yeah. If the seeded only can very well update. Yeah. So, yeah. so we will we'll get rid of this error na? if you update uh, with the production lifecycle uh, stage. Who is this? This is Amit. I mean, you can very well update. You can update the whatever if they are appropriate. Form, I can wait. Oh, okay. Go there and then go to the ATO option class. And go there. And then when you update it, it will all be getting done. And there's a serial one, that's why we are not touching it actually. Yeah, true. Yeah. Paste it. Fine. And then there's a fourth one. The final option class is now under creation actually as an item. Remember. This option class is now remaining as an item. So go to the associations and then go there. Go to the actions and go to site map. So 0, 5, 1 is the one. Enter it. So all the four. And finally, the model item we're going to create now. So click on save and close now. We don't have. So we'll now go there. We'll now go there and then query on this place. And I know that point. We'll now see whether all the five four are done. Go to the browser items and then query on the 1T3 now. Fine. So they're all. What happens? One T three is a prefix actually. Thank you that. So I am starts with one T three. So organization zero five one. We'll now see all the four <coughs> option classes as an item is existing or not. Thank you that. So now go there and see. So one two three four. Everything is existing. It's a mandatory option class. As there is mandatory option class. camera option class and then gaming option class. We done it very correctly. Thank good good good. I only have to appreciate myself because there is nobody there. <laughs> but finally, we have opened the model. Fine. The model I'm going to create. The top one is a model. Fine. It is again ATO model. ATO model is manufacturable. And tomorrow we'll do the production works. So till now we were bringing in the ATO option class. Now fine. Now you're going to bring the ATO model right side, not the ATO. So it is a model actually. Please don't make any mistake. And then you know, if you suffer it again, you have to sit and then do everything. Now, fine. All hatch patch works here to do. So please do not do any mistake while you are doing it. Uh, Nana sir, do we need to create the options as well? Options means what? What do you mean by options? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm talking from the EB's point of view. Uh, you don't know the question itself, okay, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Just options in the sense, uh, see, we are creating an option class, right? So there used to be, let's say, there are two options. About about the options actually, till now I have not talked anything about the options. We are going to come to that now. Okay. We're going to come to that. So I'll be talking about it. Fine. Don't worry. Everything. See, I won't leave anything untouched. Fine. My method of teaching is what? Very systematic and methodical. Absolutely. No, no doubt about that. No. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about the options now. Fine. You're going to talk about it. So go there. So the model is ready. Seven close now. So it's not there. So the options, model classes, and then the standard items are now available as an item now. Fine. They are not available as a bill actually. Now let us go there and then create our first bill now. Fine. So in a real manufacturing area, this is the top level bill, and then it has got four components. Every bill can have only one parent and then multiple components. You can have, but you cannot have more than one parent actually. Every bill can have only one parent and then multiple components actually. It can have multiple components. So your model can have any number of option classes. And then below an option class, we can even have an option class. And then below an option class, you can even have a model also. And then the final element of a, what's called your bill is what is a standard item. 
and below a standard item we cannot have an option class or a model remember below standard item we cannot have an option or class model so model option classes can toggle basically in a bit and then this is a two level bill actually right? a parent and then uh, what happens you have four components and then every component is a parent of another bill and then it has got these components a two level bill so we can go up to 60 levels actually 60 levels are possible in ebis i don't know how much they have enhanced in fusion or okay? but practically speaking uh, we have seen oracle has seen a maximum of eight level of indentation as far as billing is concerned so the manufacturing bill is concerned they have seen in a practical environment people have not gone beyond eight uh, they become a very very complex sector okay fine the hierarchy is now created fine with that so we have only uh, models option classes and standard items which are going to be constituent of bills basically one parent can have multiple components every uh, what happens uh, every bill can have what happens multiple things and then a uh, model can have option classes option class also can have a model below so likewise you can even toggle 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 and go over. the the leaf element of a thing is a what's called a standard item below standard item we cannot have any more uh, any more bills basically bill can, bill is a is a leaf element leaf of a, uh, a complete indented bill actually Good. so you understood it now i'm not going to create my first bill now and then 051 org is now having function security and data security because of those roles actually fine. you are given a role now fine i have given you this thing fine. This one. so they have already attached all these roles so these roles facilitate the function security and data security for all the visions org so 001 002 003 051 etc so for all the vision roles the function security and data security is already inbuilt in this role now fine I don't know how to customize this role. So if you learn it, it will be great. Now, fine. They have already done it. And so when you're logging in with the SCM user, so you will be having only, uh, I'm not knowing what, uh, what are the combination of all the roles, but if you're creating your own user on the vision structure with the visions alien view, if you attach these roles, you will be able to enjoy all the privileges of any vision user actually. So they're all built in. And so there is no problem in uh, what happens creating the bill now. So let us not go there and then it will be queried. So let us go there. Let us not query it and then it will not create a bill now. I'll now go to the browser items. I will now create my first option class. Paste it over here. Fine. Click on search. I want to search for it. So I have now given some extra space. I think fine. one extra space is there. Fine. Click on search. Starts with. We have a double colon in this one. One second. Is it? What happened? Oh, so there's a double quote uh, at the beginning. Yeah. How come the double quote has come here? Fine. Uh, it... Must be in the Excel. Ah, yeah. in the Excel, there is some double quote is coming. I don't know how come the double quote has gone inside now. And I should have taken it from this place now. Right? So I will not take it from this place in the right now. So I will not give a cancel and then I get rid of it. It should not cause any problem now. Right? So go there. So let me give it done and then I will not query from the bottom most fine. On the bottom one, what happens? We are having some double quote and all. Right? You can copy from the formula bar. So the double quotes and all. So please do not take from this place, but take it from this place now. So it's a mandatory option class on and then make a search. It's not coming. There are also some extra space will be there, but it's okay. Fine. Now I'm not going to create my bill in the master or child. Anybody? I'm no master. 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 All the bills must be created in the master, or otherwise, where engineering and design department is existing. It is customary. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the implementation will be having the master org as your engineering and design department. I go there. I am not going to create in my engineering and design department. Click on it. We are going to create a bar. So go there. Click on it. Then now go there. Go to the structures. I am not creating. So we are not going to create a structure actually here. Sir, it is based on the business decision on the, uh, choosing the item validation organization, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it all varies. Okay. I B O may vary. <clears throat> so again, I am telling you one simple case. Okay. Based upon the real situation, you have to get fine tuned to it. You have to get fine tuned to it. So uh, it is a customary practice to create everything on the master plan. It, it doesn't mean that you have to always create the master plan. There are implementations where I went to Hyderabad and I was uh, demonstrating it for one of the client actually. Who told you to do it in master? Nana, it is, in our case, it is not so at all. <laughs> <laughs> then I asked you, okay, okay, right. So, but uh, can you? I, I was not what I was habituated to create in some other child org actually. So I demonstrated everything on the master actually. So it may be different also. I'm going to create it. Since uh, this is now having all the function security and data security data, we'll be normally using the primary now. It's only a lookup code actually. So take a copy of it and then click on this one. So click on apply and add details. This is the parent of the bill now. I'm going to apply and add this. I'm going to apply and add the details for this. 
since it is a 0, 5, 1, 1, no need to give any function security and data security on the managed item class. It's all with them. So we are going to have what? 1T2, 1T2 on the 9, 10, 11, we are going to add. So let me go and then click on actions and then go to self net and then let me query 1T2 now. <clears throat> so 1T2, I'm going to query. So 9, 10, 11, I'm going to add. So I will not add 9, 10, 11 actually. So uh, we have everything now, I know that 9, 10, 11, the first three, select it with a control, I select it and then I select it. Right? So 9, 10, 11, I'm adding it. I click on apply and then click on okay. So these three components are added. Now, the options and mutually exclusive comment which are not fine. It's a very complex topic. You just listen to me very carefully. So it is a mandatory option class. If a company, if a person, if a customer is asking for what happens, a yeah, laptop, fine, is a desktop actually. He has to choose either 8 GB RAM or 16 GB RAM. It is a mandatory one. One of them he has to choose. So once when he chooses one of them, a one-year warranty is included in them, and then that will be given to him free of cost. The one-year warranty will be free of cost. But he has to choose one of them. So he has to necessarily choose one of them. So these two are for the first two are called competing components. Fine. They are competing options. So we are going to make them as a competing components. So we'll not go there. We will not, we are not going to make it as a competing components. And then this is a free item actually. Include item is a free item. We are going to configure this bill now. So then it can go there. So here you go to the view, and then here you go down, and then here, if you go there, you have to enable component order management actually. So if you go further. You won't be finding the OP and ME coming up at all. OP and ME will not be coming. So we have to view the component order management. Then only the OP and ME will be visible actually. You go to what happens a view and then enable the component order management. So go to the component order management, you put a tick mark and then it will be visible now. If you enable the, in the view mode, that moment, you will now be able to see the OP and ME now. So here uh, you will be finding what? Uh, the options and then mutually exclusive. So we'll be finding this one. So is optional, mutual exclusive and optional is coming. So options, optional and mutual exclusive are the one, we are going to do it. So you we'll know, select the first line. And then here, what happens, you go there. Uh, we have to, what happens, uh, you go to edit, click on it. Select the first component, fine, is 8 GB RAM, fine, click on edit. So once you edit it, what happens, you add it, fine. You enable the option. <coughs> So once when you enable the optional, it becomes a competing component. It becomes a competing component. And then mutually exclusive cannot be enabled for a standard item. For a standard item, you cannot enable it at all. Note down. Fine. Please run the video and then again note down whatever I speak. So once when you put a tick mark on a standard item, it becomes a competing option. And then we cannot enable the mutually exclusive. ME cannot be enabled on a standard item. Any doubts? It becomes a competing option. It is now competing option. Similarly, I keep my cursor on the second one and then click on edit now. Click on edit. And then I'm going to make it as what? Again, a competing option. And click on edit. So the third item is not having a tick mark. That means what? It is now given to him free now. The one. one year warranty is going to be given to him as a free. And click on edit now. It is going to be given to him free. So option. ME cannot be enabled for a standard item. Fine. This grayed out actually. Fine. You cannot do it. You can So that's it. My bill is now made. My bill has got a parent and then a component. So OP and ME. So on a bill, on the child levels, we are now mentioning the OP and ME now. To go further and see. Uh, I am not able to understand the intent of this. Like, if we do that as optional, we can't do it as mutually exclusive, is it? For a standard item, ME is not applicable at all. ME is not applicable. At all. So see, it's like uh, either 8 GB or 16 GB. So it's like uh, while choosing, you have to choose either 8 GB RAM or 16 GB RAM, right? Yeah. They are only the competing components for this yeah. parent actually. And okay. then whatever I have written, it is for the higher level. The OP is equal to no and then MP is equal to yes is for the higher level and not for the same level actually. Please, please, somebody's mic is on now, please do it. Okay. It's a very complex topic. Any doubt is immediately then that. I am now making it as an option. Fine. They are competing options. And then I am yet to discuss about the OP is going to know, MB is going to yes, I am yet to discuss about it now. And they are for the higher level bill, not for this bill now. So whatever you set on the OP and ME is for the below level actually. Whatever I am setting as OP is OP is going to yes, and then it is for the below level of the parent actually. So this is the parent. 
and for the below level only it is applicable. I am saying OP is good. Yes, now fine. These two are competing components, and then we cannot set up the mutually exclusive at all because all the three are standard items. Got it now fine. <laughs> so the first bill is now made. So take on. Uh, Nara sir, for third item, um, optionally is no. It means it is it will come by default. It will be included as in a free item. Free item. So oh, what is oh, what is the op, uh, item type for that that one? The standard item. Standard item. Okay. okay. After it only a purchase by your for your finished good template now. It's a standard item. Okay. So you have three types of items: a model item, an option class item, and a standard item. If you apply a purchase item template or a finished good template, they are all standard items. Okay. So Nana, what you are saying is we are yet to specify if we select two zero nine. We cannot choose two ten. If we choose two ten, we cannot choose two zero nine. We are yet to specify that. Who is this? Satya. Satya is hundred percent correct. So we are yet to specify. If you choose eight GB, we cannot choose sixteen GB, and then vice versa. We are yet to specify. Wrong. Fantastic, fantastic. Fine. So that portion we are yet to come. We are now made them as a competing component for the parent only. So if you choose as eight GB, you cannot choose sixteen GB. If you choose as sixteen GB, you cannot choose eight GB. That we are yet to specify. Good, good, good. So if you have any problem, you can go to US and then talk to Satya. He will help you out. Now. <laughs> good. So click on done. By which one month the bill is made? I have not completed the bill. Thank God. So click on seven close. By which one month the bill is now? On seven close. My bill is now made. Created. So I have not created the item as well as the bill also. Now I will not go to the child and then I will not comment it. I will not go there. Click on it. So I am not going to open it up. Zero five one. I am going to open it up. So click on the hyperlink of it. Satya is having an excellent uh, way of working. So go there. Go to the structures. So in this structure, there is no structure existing. I have now created a structure in the master. So now tell me if you go to the actions, I have to create a structure or create from a common. Create what I have to common, 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 common. Create from common. 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 Create from common I do. So here we have to say where exactly it is existing. It is existing in operations. Okay. Capital O. Do you remove this. This organization comes by default. Okay. Capital O P R E T. And then your tab. It will be coming. Capital O. Your master org is known as operations. So I will go there now. And then my item is what one T two now. One T two is a one. Right? No, it's not one T two. One T three. One T three. If you give a tab, how many bills will come now? In the, in the screen, what happens if you go on and see? There are four bills are available. You know, right? how many bills will now come? There's list of values. One. Give, only one because I have now created only one now. <laughs> Since I created only one, that will be coming. I not created other things. Right? So go there. So one T three zero two is now coming up automatically. So you go there. You go there. You want it. So one T three zero two is now coming up automatically. One T three zero two mandatory option class which you created. Right? So click on OK. Now item import will start. So click on OK. An item import concurrent will be triggered, and then that will be importing the bill from the master to it will now common the bill from the child. Will now go on and how will go right click on the duplicate. Uh, you know, importing the bill now. <clears throat> so this is nothing but import process now. Right? When you common it, it will be running an import process. Item import process will be run now. I am talking a lot. Please, please take a note and then whatever, keep it with you. Fine. <clears throat> So an item import is not running. Import of items is not running. So it's not running. Item import is running. Whenever you do the commenting, item import will run. It will run <laughs> some six or seven concurrent. <coughs> Please take notes of whatever I speak. No, when I speak a lot, because initially you cannot remember it. So till you get accustomed to it, you have to refer your notes. Afterwards, what happens is no notes is required. Item import has to get succeeded. Let me delay the break. Actually, <clears throat> it has to be six thirty. But let us now complete it. Then afterwards, we will now show it to you. We will now have the break. The first bill is now created, and then it is common to the child also. Uh, Nana sir, if you have to common it across multiple child orgs. So you have to go to individual child org and then create from common, right? I don't know whether anything, any other better way is there or not. I'm not sure about it. No, no, just just asking. So That's if the way you are doing, no, fine. Yeah. You know, what happens? Zero five one. I'm commenting it. And then I'm going to zero five two. I'm commenting. But uh, your question is what? If there are ten orgs, can you do the commenting? That I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Yeah.
Adamant child is running now. You just ask the manufacturing guys. I am yet to learn manufacturing fully. Fine. My knowledge is off of it now. No. no in other words, we when we want to create the common, we have to create from the destination organization. Is yeah. that the what is question is it is a you have some 15 organizations are there. Is it necessary to go to each and every org and then do the commoning or otherwise uh, is there any way to common it co in a one go? No? And then what is question is, but I don't know the answer for it. Maybe the mass uh, update or mass, FBA. mass commoning may be available. I'm not sure about it. There may be a mass commoning. Maybe available. I'm not sure about it. So two item imports are running now actually. And we all succeeded. So the main item import is still running now. <clears throat> so the system will be triggering an item import. It will not go there and then query on this one. So it will not go there. So it will not give a done. You can give a save and close and then come out of it now. Save and close. Again, save and close when you do it now. Fine. Make a save and close first of all. And give a search. So after having done the commenting, please save and close. Remember, I have not saved it. No one has saved it. Go back to one. You will not see the structure is existing on the child or not. I am in the second or not. 0, 5, or not. And go back to one. Go to the structures and then see if the structure is existing or not. Vandichi. We got it. If you click on the primary, you will not see all the components. And now you cannot edit it all. Any other you go there. The edit button is grayed out because they are all common components actually. So none of the component can be edited. If you change the master, that is the quantity you are going to change it to two, three, or four. What happens? It gets automatically reflected on the child. Actually, it is a mirror image of the master. Actually, got it now. Fine. That's break. Any doubts? So we are breaking at six thirty-five. We will again come back at six fifty now. Fine. Stop it. We will now come back at six fifty. Six fifty is the uh, reassembling time now. I will now leave and then come back. Welcome all of you, Nana here, and then we are into the second session of the day now. And then we are continuing our activity in the bills. So let me share this. So the record has got converted. Let me go there and then save it to the corporate player now. Open up this one. Open up this one. I will now go to the OM records, OM classroom records. I will now rename it actually. So the 19th is a sales order import piece. All of you please view it now. Right click on the rename it. This is the 20th one. 20th one. Okay. So let me go there and then open up my drive.google.com. Remember at the end of the training, I will be removing access actually. So please download it at the earliest. Please download everything. Otherwise, what happens? I'll not give you 15 days' time after the completion of this training, actually. Mission OM training. I will now open up the OM classroom records. So go there, click on it. File upload, and then let me upload it. Do it as what? As a detail. Go down. So we'll go to this place. And now go to the school computer. So the 20th configurator one is now getting uploaded. <clears throat> now we are going to continue our creation of what our other ones. Are. So it gets uploaded again. Please download everything at the earliest actually. <clears throat> so 20th one, one upload complete and that one. So this is now done. So we are able to see this. Okay? We'll now go on and create a second bill now. Go there. Go to the Excel sheet. So we'll now take up the copy of the second and then no query. No query. So we are going to get the second bill of this one. So we'll now. Remove it and then paste it over here and then click on search. Right? You know, go to the master. Right? So the master is the first talk and go that click on it. I'm not going to get a bill for this. So go there, go to the structures and then go to create actions create. I will be creating a structure. So I am now creating a structure and then I will now make it as a primary. Right? It's nothing but a lookup code now. You can choose anything. We normally can make it as a primary. 
So we will not take a copy of the primary and then put in the description and then click on apply and add details. So here we are going to add what the 12, 13, 14, I'm going to add now. Fine. 11, I'm not doing it now. Fine. 11, I'm not doing it. So 11 is a one year warranty. 11, 9, 10, 11 is already there. Fine. 12, 13, 14, I'm going to add it. So you go, you go to the actions and then go to select and add. 1T2, I'm going to query now. 1T2, I'm going to query. So 12, 13, 14, I'm going to add now. So select 12. And then with the control, I'm selecting 13 and then 14. So two year warranty, UPS and external test extension. Uh, and the exclusion set, I'm not going to choose this no fine whether I will know what I'm going to do is 12, 13, and then 14 is exclusion test for tonight. So exclusion test one I'm choosing it. The control. And only the broadband, I'm not adding it. I'm not adding the broadband. So I need some three items. Okay, fine. It's okay. Exclusion test. Okay. So 12, 13, 14, fine. Click on apply and then click on okay. Fine. So by which the bill is now getting created. So go to the view and then here enable the component order management. Component order management. I'm going to and go to the first item and then enable the options. Select the first item and then enable the options. It means it's a competing options. Remember, ME cannot be enabled on a standard item again and again. And then go to the second item. UPS is all that. I will not delete it. I click on it. Select and I will not enable the option. If I'm making a mistake, please, then and there you point out to me. Otherwise, I will be landing up an error. So that's it. My bill is now ready on the master. So go there. So click on save and close now. And then I will now requery it. So I will now create the bill actually. So let me make a search again. And then here I will now go to the child now. I click on the child. And then let me comment it to the child. Actually. So go to the structures again. Am I audible? Anybody? <clears throat> Somebody can say, am I audible? Yes. Sir. yes. Go, to the yes sir. go to the create from common. Now. Create from common. So here you have to change the R. Since I am the child, the child will be getting defaulted. Fine. Go there, make a change. Fine. Capital O. Operations find over O P R E T A O operations go there to be coming. So what are the mistake here? O P E R E A code operations come. So if you put one T two, fine. It is a it is actually one T three now. One T three. To give a tap. So both the bills will be coming. I have to choose the property. Right? The second bill I have to choose. So second bill I'm going to comment. I will not choose the second bill for this now. Fine. I click on OK. So by which? Uh, we can't hear you. How come? Others? What about you? Who is this? Who is not able to hear me? Oh, he is unable to hear me at all. Okay, fine. That is the problem. So your speakers are not working. Fine. Others are able to hear me now. Yeah, yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 Is not here. Somebody please uh, correspond with him now. I uh, written your speaker is not working. So somebody keeps corresponding with him and then uh, uh, correct the problem for him. So you'll not see. So now a commoning has been done. We have to save and close now. Fine. Click on save and close by which what happens? It gets completed. Save and close. So the second bill, the item import is now running. Got it now. We'll not go for the third one. Right. Take it from this, this place and not from that place now. Right? So that is not correct actually. Right? You take it from this place. So take it from this place. So the uh, the third option class item we are going to query now. Paste it over here. No query for that. There is extra space, fine. That is why it's not coming. Let us delete all the extra spaces. And then click on search now. The third item, the option class item, we are now queried now. Fine. We will now click on it and then we will now create a bill now. The third option class. I go to the structures and then let me create a bill. I go to actions and then go to create. I'm not going to create a bill. I'm not creating it in the master. So it's a primary now. Drop it down and then make it as a primary. Primary. So go there. So take a copy of it and put it in the description. And then click on apply and add details. We're going to add it. So go there. So for the third bill, if you go on and see now, so it has got 16, 17, 18 as a component. So go there. Go to actions and then go to select and add. 1T2 is a 1. I'm going to choose it now. 1T2 right? is a 1. I'm entering now. 16, 17, 18 now. Go down. So we have got 16, 17, 18. Now. So select the 16 and then 17 and then 18 now. So we have a 720p camera, 1080p camera, and then external mic. Then click on apply and then click on OK by which all the three components are now selected. All three components are selected. And then go there. Go to the view and then enable the component order management. So component order management, I'm enabling it now. Fine. Enable the component order management. 
and then select it and then the first two are competing options we are going to enable that one to find that one now go to put a tick mark on the options so option like putting a tick mark find that tick mark you know that and then similarly for the second item also they are competing options fine the first two are competing options for the customer actually he is only going to choose either the 720p or 1080p only fine so the third item which is going to be the one fine is the external mic will be given to him free if you choose one of them if he does not choose anything this will not be given to him at all remember again please take a note of it now the included item or a free item will be given to him only when he chooses one of them if he chooses nothing the mic will not be given to him at all please again note it down the included item is free item only when he chooses at least one of the competing components one of the competing components only will choose the free item will be given otherwise it will not be given at all thank you madam again i am talking a lot fine go there and then do it now properly so go there so click on save and close by which what happens the bill is now created on the master now after having created you make a search again fine click on search again fine go there and then click on the child organization and then now will now common it to the master the third one we are going to common it fine go to the structures and then here go to the actions and then go to create from common i am going to create from common now go there so change the op to operations what op or ot operations will be coming now fine go there for it if you put 1t2 1t3 and then go tap you'll be finding three ones the third one i am going to choose it i am going to common it from the third one now i click on okay and if you make a mistake i don't know how to uncommon it uncommoning and all i don't know there are facilities are uncommoning but i don't know how to do and all fine so you have to learn only from the manufacturing team now. so please don't make any mistake mistake making in the field is really very horrible actually if you do it in the client location a mistake it will be very very difficult so that point, i will not give a save and close the item import concurrent will be running and let it will be running right? it doesn't matter we will we'll not go for the final bill on this now on the lower level actually and go that to one so one doubt here here you have mentioned like the op op no mes op no but all the items you are under that you are making as option second second me he cannot select at all for a standard component for a standard component me is not applicable at all okay so all this you have mentioned is for the higher level bill. yes at the lower level bill so for this one all the op and me are applicable only for the lower level bill remember ye op and me are applicable only for the lower level bill Okay. okay. So, gradually you will understand it. Right? So, we will not go for the final bill. Not the point, the lower level. So, we will not paste it over here. Fine. Delete everything. Who is this? What is your name? So, this is Karthi Games. Karthi Games. Okay. So, select it. Fine. Go there. Go there. Come on. We will not create the bill now. So, the final bill is got nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one as the component. So, go there. Go to the structures. And then you go there, go to the actions, and then go to create. Now, fine. We are now creating the final bill on this. Drop it down. Now make it as what primary. So take a copy of it and then put in the description, and then click on apply and add details. You go for the next one. So go to actions and then go to select and add. You are going to what happens? One T two is a one, and then query for it. Go down, and then here we have to choose what nineteen, twenty, and twenty one as the component for this one. So select nineteen, select twenty, and then select twenty one, and then click on apply, and then click on okay now. Yes, so just this. Try to complete all these things today. It's a morning. <laughs> If you do it, that will be great actually. How many of you are going to today? Going to do this today? You will not see anybody. Can open up your mic? Can you? Can you open up your name and then tell me? I'm going to do it today. You will not see. Competent order manager. Enabling it. Select the first name. Oh God, nobody is having time now today. <laughs> select any. If you hit the iron when it is hot, like that, what happens? When you have just learned it, what happens? You will be remembering it. Do it now. Get on again. Select it and then click on edit now. People will be saying, "Sir, we are already tired with the boy working on Monday to Friday or even extended hours. Saturday is the only time where we can sleep now." <laughs> So the graphics card and the joy card, uh, uh, the graphics card and joystick are competing options. If he chooses one of them, the mouse pad will be given to him free. So click on that one. So that's it. So all the four lower level bills are now created. Fine, go there. Point seven close. We will now common it also. <clears throat> After having created again, make a search on this now. So it is preferable to make a search now. Not necessary that everything else is preferable to make. It. So go to the structures and then let us now common it. So go to the actions and then go to create from common and then I am going to create from common the operations. Operations. So we will not choose the one. And then in one T three we have three four bills actually. We are not going to choose the fourth one. One T three. Not choose the fourth one. Select the next one again. 
So give a nomenclature like 1T1, 1T2. I have done it. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. 60 was replaced by 1T2. And then 70 was replaced by 1T3 now. That's it. I'm going to have 7 posts. Now, we are going to create the final bill, which is going to be a higher level bill. So this bill, I'm going to create. I'm going to create this bill. So I will not choose the desktop model. And then let me create the bill for the final one. So we have got five bills over here now. Right? Three at the lower level and then one at the top. So go there. Let us now put it on the bill now. Query for this. <coughs> Paste it over here. Right? Delete all the extra spaces and then make a search. So open up your master org and then we are going to create the final bill. <coughs> go to this place. So, you want. so go to the structures. And then here, go to the actions. And then here, what happens? Go to create now. When we are going to create it. So this is the primary one. The final bill we are going to create. It. Primary. And then click on. And then take a copy of it. And then put in the description. And then click on apply and add details. We are going to apply and add details. So here, the final bill will be having what? You are two, three, four, five as the component. The two, three, four, five are the components for the model lecture. Right? So go there. I will now go to actions and then go to self net. This time not one T two but one T three now. One T three we are going to choose one T three two. So you go there. We'll be having only the four components available over here. One T three four one T three has gone only. So the model is not coming because there is a parent of it. So if you go and then see the this is the one one T three zero one is not appearing because there is a parent. So only the lower lower components are coming. Two three four five are coming. Select it and then select it. Select it and then select it. <clears throat> so, so the fourth bill, the import was happening, but what happens? We had to wait for some time actually. Right? Let the import get complete. Actually, got to get complete. So I will not give a cancel on that. So the import has to get completed actually. Find the fourth one. The item import is running actually. So while it's running, you have to preferably wait for the what happens? The concurrent to complete and then of course wait. Any doubt still now? Fine. Now we are now going for the model level bill now. <clears throat> and remember the top. One will not have any OP and ME at all. In the top uh, parent of an internet bill, find the internet bill. Find there's two level initiation. So this will not have any OP and ME settings at all. Only the lower level components will be having OP and ME. Whereas what about the top level? Top level bill will not have any OP and ME settings at all. Right? <clears throat> so it is basically everything is mandatory. It means what? It is a mandatory one as far as the top level is concerned. So go there. So I hope that by this time. The concurrent might have got completed. Now, I'm going to go to actions and then go to self nav. So wait for the fourth one to complete. That's what I'm saying. Now, one T three is the one. So one T two and one T three. So remember your nomenclature. What are you giving it? Now? Select it and then select it. Select it and then select it. All the four components on the one. Click on apply and then click on apply. Now you go to the view and then here enable the component order management over here. Now. Component order management. Now we'll now come to the first one. Now. The first one. Right? It is a mandatory option class. So when the customer has to choose, he has to choose either the 8 GB or a 16 GB. So I will now make the OPS no. So if you make it as a OPS and no, that means what? There is no tick mark. It becomes a mandatory option class. If OP is equal to no, I go there. Select it and click on edit. If you make it as OPS no, it becomes what? It is a mandatory option class. He has to choose something. Otherwise, he cannot go out at all. Like this. It is a mandatory option class. Now, if mutually exclusive is yes, he can choose only one component out of all the competing components. If ME is equal to yes, out of all the competing components, he can choose only maximum of one. He can choose zero also. He can choose zero as well as he can choose one also. So I'll now enable ME. ME is not applicable for standard components, but ME is applicable for both models as well as option classes. Again, please take a note of it. Okay? ME is applicable for both models and option classes, but ME is not applicable for standard components like a purchase item template or a finished good templates. If you are doing it, and if you are applying a kit template, all those things, what happens? ME is not applicable. Only for models and option classes, ME is applicable. Now tell me, okay? I am now making it as a mandatory class, and then I am now making a maximum of one only can be chosen. Now tell me how much he can choose now. Tell me anybody. How many? How much he can choose? There are there are only two competing components, 8 GB and 16 GB. One, 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 one. one. Can he choose both 8 GB and 16? No, no, no. 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 Which is preventing it? Which is preventing? Mutual exclusive. Mutual exclusive. Is preventing from choosing both actually? M is equal to S is preventing. Right? Can he go away without choosing anything? No. 
Why? Because optional is unchecked. Optional is unchecked means what? It is a mandatory option. Yeah. So this type of a choice of the OP is equal to no and then ME is equal to no is known as what? One and only one. This combination is known as what? One and only one. Got it now, fine? So this combination is known as one and one. And that is applicable for the lower level bill, basically. Even though I am writing everything on this bill, now, fine? It is a lower level bill. Mutual exclusive all. Okay. So mutual option is... have more number of items also, this is applicable, right? More I number mean, of items. We have more number of uh, uh, standard items under... Uh, there may be uh, standard options. Five, five uh, competing options. Right? If there are five competing options, it is applicable for all. So on this particular one of what, on the mandatory option class one, I've chosen was OP, no is equal to ME, yes. that is applicable only for the lower level components and not for the same level. Not for the same level. Or not for the higher level. It is for the lower level. Right? OP is equal to no and then ME is equal to yes, is applicable for the lower level components. It is true in EBS also. Uh, though the setup is on the option class item. Yes. Even though the setup is on the option classes, whatever you choose, the OP and ME on that particular line is applicable for the only for the lower level level, lower level components only and not on the same level. Any doubts? It is applicable only for the lower level components and not for the same level. So for the for the first one, mandatory option class, I know made optional as no and then ME as one. It is one and only one. I'll now go for the next one now. Accessories mandatory option class. Accessories mandatory option class. Here goes that. So here, what happens? OP is equal to no. He has to choose either the two-year excellent warranty or a UPS. Right? He has to choose it now. Right? So here it is a mandatory option class. He has to choose it. And M is equal to no. That means what? He can choose zero or one or any number of components, any number of competing options he can choose. So this is known as one or any. This is known as one or any. He can choose either two-year warranty or he can choose UPS or he can even choose both also. But he cannot go away without choosing anything. Whenever he chooses one or both, the exclusion test is free for him. <coughs> so I have now made it as option, but it is not an option actually. Right? This is not an option. So I have made a mistake here. Right? Please correct it actually. Right? I will not correct it from my novel. I will not correct it. Okay, fine. I have now made it. Okay, I have now made a lot of things on this novel. Uh, what is the item I choose or not? I have not chosen the uh, Maybe uh, one of them is an included. Up, and I don't know what one is an included. Up, the third item is an included. Up. I'm not exactly remembering it. Some mistake in that. So, are you clear upon one or any on this now? <coughs> so, option is going to know. Which, going to know. which setup will tell we have to choose one? At least one. There are four which such combinations are there. One and only one, one or any. No, no, no. Here, one or any is there, right? Don't set up. OP is equal to no, and then MP is equal to no means what? One or any. If you make OP is equal to no, and then MP is equal to no for the particular option class level, fine. On this mandatory minimum one, one or any. And go there. Click on edit now. Click on edit. And then here, if you make what? OP is equal to no, and then MP is equal to no. Fine. Nothing okay. is there. It is basically what? It is okay. called what? One or any. Got it? Good. I go over the third one now. I'll not go for the third one. So go there. Choose the third one. So second one is what? One or any. First one is one and one and only one. See so here, one or any. Go there. Third one. I will not click on edit. The third one, I'm clicking on it. Here, OP is equal to yes, and then ME is equal to yes. So OP is equal to yes, and then ME is equal to yes. Both of them are on now. So go there. Click on. So if you choose OP is equal to yes, and then ME is equal to So he can choose a camera. These are the only two competing options. He can choose a 720p camera he can, or he can choose a, AD, a, a 1080p camera or he may not even choose any camera. I don't want any camera here. I don't want it. So likewise also he can do. So OP is optional actually. And how many cameras he can choose maximum? He, can he choose both? Anybody? One. No, only no, one. No. Only one, which is, which is uh, restricting him. Mutually MEP. exclusive. Uh, ME is equal to yes, is restricting him to choose only one camera. M is equal to one is restricting him to choose only one camera. OP is equal to says means he may choose a camera either 720 or 888 or 1080 or he may even go away without choosing anything. But if he choose one of them, then what happens? A mic will be given to him free. 
So since I have chosen both, fine, go there. You know how to operate now. Since it is basically called what? No, it's a OPN name. I will not give a cancel. That means what? Zero or one? No, no. In this situation, the in included item, how it is selected? Because it will not be uh, given. Customer cannot configure the included item at all. So it will be given to him free. Oh. On the competing options, only 720p and 1820 1080p will be coming to the customer. He has to choose only. The competing components only he has to choose. Got it? He has to choose only the competing components. And then he will not be given option to choose this included item at all. He will not have any tick mark. You can't put anything. So that if he doesn't select, he will not get that, Mike? Yeah. But that will not be known to him in the configurator at all. In the configurator, the included items will not be coming there at all on the list of values. Got it. Now I'll go for the final one as zero or any. So OP is equal to yes and then M is equal to no. So OP is equal to yes. And we have we'll not go there. So we have already given this. No point. Click on it. No point. There's no OP is equal to yes and then M is equal to yes. Any doubts, please ask me. Fine. We'll not go. We are going to higher level com com complexities now. Fine. Gradually, you know, land up and learning about a binary complexity. So select the fourth one, then go there. Click on edit now. So click on edit here. What happens? You're going to say what? OP is equal to yes and then M is equal to no. No. OP is equal to yes. And then M is equal to no, no. That means what? It is an optional class. And then you can choose anything. Mutual exclusive is not on. Fine, click on. Okay, fine. Can do it. So, that's it. Can do that. so that means what? You can choose nothing or you can choose all else. So we have a graphics card as well as a joystick. You can go away by choosing nothing. But you can choose both also. Graphics card as well as joystick. Here it is not possible. Since M is equal to S, you can choose either a 720p camera or a 80, 80, 1080 camera. Also. You cannot choose both. Here, you can choose both also. So, it is called zero or any. Any doubts on this now? Got it? Thank you. No. Yeah. So, that's it. Fine. You are now configured all these. And whatever you are configuring on the OP and ME, it is applicable for the lower level bills and not for the same level at all. Got it now? Fine. So, this is the one. And then for the top level, we don't have any OP and ME applicable at all. For the, This is the top level bill actually. And below, beyond which we don't have any bill. So for the top level, we don't have any OP and ME at all. OP and ME is not applicable for the top level bill. Top level parent. Parent do not have any OP and ME. Only components will be having OP and ME. Got it? Any doubts on this now? Fine. So I know given these four options. One and only one. One or any. Zero or one. And then zero or any. Any doubts? Anybody has got? We are not going to go for higher level complexities now. Right? Good. So nobody has got any doubts. Now, right? click on it, right? So click on done now. Fine. Now go there. We'll now save and close and then we'll now comment it to the child. So the bill is now created in the master now. Fine. Go there, right? And again, have a ha I have a habit of what I must say, making a search again, actually. But even though there is no change in the, in the child level, but I have a habit of doing it. Fine. So go there. You have some good habits that will be very good for you. Fine. Go to the structure. And then here, whatever you go to the actions and then create from common. We can even create from copy. That will be a very rare one. You will not be creating from copy at all. Fine. Very rarely you will do it. So actually, in your EBIS training, we have a matrix for explaining this OP and EMI. Yeah, yeah. This here also the same matrix. Everything is same and there is no change at all. You yeah, maybe the people would get more, I mean, easy to understand. It. I shared it in the Telegram group. That image. Is it difficult? Whatever I have made as an Excel sheet. That yeah. matrix I also have. That will be very difficult to understand. <laughs> I have also have that matrix. You just compare that matrix with my explanation. Of why. This is more easy. That matrix is really very difficult. I also have that matrix. Okay. Given by Oracle actually. Fine. That is not at all easy. You yourself go on and compare this with that. And then who is this? Karthik. Sir. Karthik, you go on and compare it. And then tell me which is easy now. Okay. That, that matrix do not have any practical example at all. Just see. I am now giving you practical examples, basically. That will not have any practical examples. Understanding that matrix is really, really difficult. Okay. You give me a comment on the, what's called, on the, on the Telegram group. My, the matrix is easy or my explanation is easy. Fine. <laughs> go there. So go there. So here, what happens, if you go to the operations and then if you give 1, T3, fine, 1, T3. So here, if you go there, so we are getting only one. Why Why the other things are not coming? Only one is coming here now. Why? Nothing else is coming here now. Right? Go in this place. We go there. We put 1, T, 3. And then if you give a tab, <clears throat> only one is coming. Why? Nothing else is coming. Because 
At the higher level, we have not made any other bill now. Yes. Not made it. Only one bill you made now. So that we are going to comment it to the chain. So, you know, the desktop model is only one time. Yeah. Okay. And I made only one. <coughs> so, click on okay. So, that. so, click on save and close by which what happens. Our activity on bills of material is now complete. Now, we are going to jump into configurator. We are going to jump into configurator. So, it's all clear now. Fine. Whatever you want. Uh, no, sorry, I didn't understand why it was only coming one. Uh, because we created uh, 23 into uh, mm -hmm. only bill mm -hmm. we made. In 23, we made only one bill, which these four components are. Right? They're not made. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 1301, okay. One that is the only bill which you made now. Okay, okay. Which will have these four option class uh, items. Fine. Fine. We don't have any. Okay. So now we have to wait for the concurrent to complete before we go jump into the configure action. So go there, go to the monitor process, and then I will search for it now. We'll now wait for the concurrent to complete before we jump into what I was your configure action. <clears throat> so item import is now running for the final one actually. So let it get imported. So in the configure area, we have to take a snapshot of this bill actually. Of the 21, you have to take a snapshot. So once when you take a snapshot on the snapshot, we are going to work upon. And then while you are working, if you make a change, we can even update our snapshot actually. There are so many things there. Right? So uh, we are not going into the intricacies of it actually. <clears throat> so the main item import is not still passed. Yeah, there is to get completed. So first activity is what? You go to the configurator and then take a snapshot of the model. So once when you take a snapshot, yeah, copy of that model will be coming into a configuratory area. The copy of the thing will be coming into the configuratory area. So wait for the fourth one, the final and the fifth one to complete now. So it has to complete the item import process has to complete before we land up into the configuratory area. It's a very difficult topic now, it's not at all easy actually. So item import has not got succeeded actually. <clears throat> Fine. Our activity is complete. Now let us go there into the into our what happens on product management. So click on the home icon and then we will now land up onto the configurator area. So you go to the go to the what's called a product management. So if you have a product data steward that is sufficient, you'll be getting the configurator over here. But you need to have a license actually. If you don't have a license, you cannot work on the configurator. So go to the configurator models. But the product data steward is sufficient. That is sufficient for item creation, your structure creation, as well as the configurator creation. And there are so many other roles. Uh, if you go and then learn PIM, it will not tell you a lot of uh, variants to it. Actually. And some more roles are also required for you to do a PIM activity. So first, you have to bring a snapshot of this. Right? So that you want to, you go there, you want to, you'll go to the manage snapshots. You click on the manage snapshots. Right? Click on the manage snapshots. Right? So we'll now bring it up. I go to the actions. And then here, whatever is it? Import model item. If I do that, click on the import model later. We're going to import it. No query for this. One T3 is the one. So click on search. We're going to import it. Now we had to import only the master one, not the child one, remember. Right? Because Bill is now created the master one. Since I don't know which is the master, let me add a column here. Okay? Or column, I had to add it. Okay? Or column is not visible. So let me add our column so that we will understand which is master and which is child. Right? So go to the view and then go to add columns. The organization I'm going to add. So go there. I will now go to the query by example. Now and click on the query by example. I will now put organization or GA and then enter it. Let me add it now and select it and then click on add. So click on add organization. Find what I wanted. So it is now added here. So click on it. You can even position it. So I will now select it and then now position it. Find go up, bring it up. And after item, let me come go up. After after item, and select it and then bring it up now. Find. Item organization description, right? whichever way you want to position, you can position the added column. Okay. Item organization description. So, this is the first one which I'm going to choose. So, click on submit, by which a snapshot of a bill from the master will be taken. Remember, the child is common one, so don't take it from the child. Click on submit. So, by which we are now bringing a snapshot of it. So, the model item process was submitted with the request ID of 499. Let us now wait for the concurrent to complete. 4.9 is the 4.99 is the one which is now running for 
taking a snapshot of it. So we are going to import a product model item. And remember, when you are doing the configuration, if somebody changes the model configuration, we can even update it also. And there are some options to update it. And there is a very complex one. And then uh, please ask your team not to make any changes to the bill when you are configuring it actually. And then if you do it again, there are, there are so many hash bash things are there. We can very well update all the things and they're all possible. But I have never done it actually. Man. So that will be a very complex exercise. Actually. So till you complete the configuration, then release it to production. Do not make any modifications to the main model actually. The snapshot is normal. Now we have to go and then create our work workspace. Now click on that. Now the snapshot will be. Let us now create so a is, there, uh, Nana, is there a difference between model and snapshot or both yeah, are yeah. one and the same? See, a model, a copy is now taken into the workspace, into your, into your configured area. Okay? So once when you make a change of the model, the, the copy will not change at all. Okay. okay. Let us say in the first 8 GB RAM, you made a change on the model to two components. Whereas the model is having only one component. So the snapshot will be having only one component. And then we can very well update the snapshot also. There are okay. some steps to update your snapshot also. Okay. So that is really a cumbersome process. Ask your team not to make a change on the model after a snapshot is made. If you do it, there are possibilities and do it. And there are so plenty of concepts are there. Fine. There are plenty of concepts are there. Okay. So go to the manage workspace now. Click on the manage workspace. So, sir, builds are BU specific or they are uh, builds are what specific? BU business unit specifics or org uh, specific. It is not BU specific. Org is specific. Okay. You now created everything on the mass shop. Then afterwards, mm -hmm. you know, common to child org. It is not BU specific. It is org specific. Inventory org specific. Okay, got it. Who is this? Uh, Kishore Kunal, sir. Kishore Kunal. Okay, fine. Clear it now. Clear now. Yeah. Yes. Just now is all. I am going to the workspace and then I am going to get workspace. I click on plus and then it will get the workspace. So I will now say one T one. I will now make only one T one because I have components of one T two and then one T three. But I will now say make one workspace. So keep a good naming in the while training also. Right? In the field also, you have to do it in a very, uh, if it is a Tata, Tata workspace, whatever it is, Birla, Birla means, so whom are implementing it, you always put their name as a prefix on it. So effective start date, we'll go there and then we'll now give the today's date. So the date must be on or after 1.55 p.m. now. Right? My time is what? 7.25. So 1.55 means 2 o'clock, 7.30. That means what? It is the England time actually. It is the England time. It's five and a half hours ahead of it, five and a half hours behind now, right? So two o'clock means so it is a five and a half hours. It is the England time, so it must be what happened the day. It must be on or after now. I will not make it as what one fifty eight actually. So I will not make it as one fifty eight. Click on seven close in the workspace. I will not make it as one fifty six now. Click on seven close and now see because one minute actually, the workspace. So the status is in development actually. So now let me add my snapshot into the workspace. So give a what Scott it is not done. Click on done. It is not created. Is, is workspace mandatory now? Of course, it's a mandatory. So go there. So here, uh, workspace is in development. And again, go to the what? Uh, manage workspaces. Let us now query my workspace. One T, one of the Workspace is a mandatory. Select it and click on edit. So click on edit. I'm going to edit it. So let me add my snapshot over here. In the workspace, I'm going to add my snapshot. Go to the actions. And then here, select and add. And then here, what happens? I will now add what? The models are not the snapshots actually. Right? Click on the model. Select and add and then add the model actually. So you go there, 1T1, and then make a search for it. Right? Not 1T1, it's 1T2 or 1T3. Maybe you can click on search. So whatever snapshot you have taken, remember we are adding a model and then the snapshot is coming over here. Include all the reference to models. Right? This will be. This is the reference one. This is the reference one. Right? So we are including all the reference models. Include updated item snapshots. This is not required. Only when you are what happens, uh, uh, making a modification of the model, then only this tick mark will be coming. Otherwise, what happens, it will be normally not required. And you can create n number of workspaces. And then every workspace can have different, different things. Click on apply and then click on OK. Uh, Nana, sir, this item will only be available for selection after the item import is completed, right? Of course. Yeah. Everything, you have to wait for the item import to complete. Okay. Wait, wait for the item. So my model, which has been taken as a snapshot, has been added now. In the actions, select and add, I have added a model and not a snapshot. Right? There are so many uh, variants to it actually. Right? So you have to work deep into You have to go to the configurator guide and then see. Uh, I know only added a simple model. Fine. A very simple one only I did. 
and then here what happens it will be really even very complex also so you can go to very level of complexity now only one user can edit this workspace actually that is i am now scm7 now fine i am now scm7 now scm08 want to do it but he has to lock it so uh, if i am now logged in as scm08 i have to first of all unlock it and then lock it so only one user can work on a model on our workspace but everybody can access everything if scm08 is logging he can also access my workspace and then my model basically he can very well access but if it is locked by me he cannot do it so what he can do is he can unlock and then lock it so once when he unlock it i will know scm8 is now locking it then scm7 cannot do anything at all got it now fine so the user who only one user can work on the model or rather work on the what's called configurator one uh, only one user can work at any any point of time actually any doubts on this now now we are going to go into the complexities of it good Uh, there Sorry. is an error on at the top of the screen yeah, yeah. because the error is coming uh, mainly because what happens uh, the date is not proper like that so uh, the workspace effective start date is now 57 so there is error he can ignore the error we will not come to the error and then you know address the error good 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 observation of the error because we have given what some uh, uh, 7 27 now it is now crossed 729 now right <laughs> it is no more effective actually you right? will not be able to what uh, release it for production actually because of the date actually. we cannot release it for production so at the time when you want to release it fine when you want to release it the error will not avoid you to release so since we are in development it doesn't matter we'll now look at the error a bit later actually so i cannot release it to production without correcting the error because the date has to be changed effective start date has to be changed so let us say it is now 730 now i have to change it to what 732 fine 732 it, uh, by this time what happens is a uh, 2202 england time and then save it then only when i release it at 2 pm 202 pm it will be released to production fine right? that way you have to work so before releasing it to production it must be a future date it should not be a past date actually before you release it to production it has to be a future date fine so at the time you will know it while creating also it must be a future date while releasing it also it must be a future date got it good doubts <laughs> fine right? whenever you see anything anywhere please ask me because i have forgotten it i have forgotten tell about the error actually good day. So, so can you please explain on again on the workspace attribute the usage of workspace attributes why we are getting workspace can have any number of models to work upon fine the workspace can now i have imported a model and then i have added the model into my workspace actually i have taken a snapshot of a model and then i have added that model into my workspace so i may even work simultaneously on multiple models also uh, nana i have one doubt uh one workspace is one to one or uh, one to many one any models can... can have any number of models okay got it thanks workspace can have any number of models so the lock and unlock is clear for you and then the model has to be first taken a snapshot and then in your workspace you add the model and not the snapshot remember you had to add the model and not the snapshot and we snapshot. can uh, add more number of Yeah, yeah. Model, you can have any number of models. No, fine. <clears throat> the next one may be a Sveta model. You can add it, and then I can start to work on it also. But you won't have time to do multiple models in one workspace. No, fine. If one itself will be very heavy for you. <laughs> you give it to some other user and then ask him to do it. Right? One user, one working on one model itself is very heavy. So it makes sense. Like now, it has captured the mutually exclusive and other attributes values. It has come this. over here now. A copy of the model, entire model has come over here. The entire model's copy has come over here now. Look, so I'm now working on the on the copy of it. So the moment I release it to production, then what happens? Is that will be the final one, and not the model on the sales order. This model will not be appearing once when the configurator's one is released to production. the configurator output only will be coming on the sales order and not this whatever you created in the item structure actually in the item structure let us say after having taken a snapshot i change the gb 8 gb run to two 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 quantities actually let us say and then the uh, the snapshot is released to production so the sales order will now sense only one one component of the 8 gb run and not the two components which is there in your bill actually got it okay so, when this is released to production then this will be the final one for sales orders good now we are going to go into the tough topic of what configurator now fine we are going to begin our configurator i will now select it and then click on edit now 
Thank you, Kongli. And we begin the tough topic of configurator. Select it and then not this one. Okay, click on edit. What is this now? This is a clear filter. So this is edit. I, I clicked on this one. Click on edit. I'm going to click on this. So my configurator is now opening up. So this is the configurator actually. Now let me test it there without doing any option. I'm going to test. I click on the test model. So click on the test model. I'm going to test it blank. So here it is not asking fine. We'll now go there. Restore configurations. Okay, it's a default one. And enable pricing. Normally, whatever will be enabled. One more thing which I have forgotten. Okay, we have to give the pricing. Okay, now give a cancel. Okay, let us now give the pricing of it. So we have got two types of pricing actually. So here I will now have the desktop model with having one price. And then whenever the customer chooses any of the options, the prices will be added. That is the way everybody works upon. Even Dell will be having what? Every model will be having one standard price. So he is now going to change whatever the. You will now have a 8 GB RAM as a zero price, and then 16 GB RAM as 1000 rupees. So if he chooses 8 GB RAM, zero will be added to the model price. If he chooses 16 GB RAM, then 1000 will be added to the model price. So likewise, they will be doing it. That is a standard customary practice, actually. And that is a standard customary practice. So we are also going to do it now. Fine. So some companies, what they do is the model price will be zero. And then whenever they keep on adding the components, the components price will be rolled up to the top and then it will be, it will be the price he has to pay. Actually. So there are two ways of uh, pricing it actually. So let us now price the model at $100. And then we have an all items price of $1 already. So we'll now make a check whether the all items price is there in place or not. And then afterwards, what happens? We'll now come to start working on the configurator. Actually. So click on turn off and come out of it. Let us now go to the pricing part and then we'll now do the pricing. Part. We'll now do the pricing. So click on the home icon. And then go there. You go to the order management and then go to the pricing administration now. Hey, I am fast. <laughs> I cannot control my speed, basically. Please excuse me. Find those who are in uh, Gulf and then African countries, they'll be finding it very difficult. So go there. You click on it. I will now go to the manage price list. So Vision is going to use the corporate price segment. Fine. Corporate. Corporate pricing segment one. It is going to use Vision. So it is not going to use what? So it will not use what corporate segment price. This is the one which vision is using it. Fine. You go and then search on the corporate. Click on corporate. So click on it. So you have to price it accordingly now. I will now go and then add my price for the model actually. So click on it. So it is what one T three zero one. Fine. I will not choose the model name. Now. I will not put on this model. Name. I will not keep a price of what hundred dollars model. So model is going to cost me $100. So click on create charge. Let me get $100 as a price. <coughs> this is a normal method, but it all depends upon your customer. Fine customer, he may even keep it as zero price also. <coughs> he may even allow manual discount also. <coughs> if he is buying some 10 models, 10 computers, then I can even give a discount also. <coughs> so click on it. I will not give a start date. So the model is going to cost me $100. And then give a save. I will not see the all items price. I will not give it a save now. You go to the all items price. I don't know whether the vision is having the all items price or not. I will not go to the line type buy. The but price. is there a meaning to have a price for a model? Because no model by itself doesn't have anything, right? See, you are going to buy a, uh, let us say, a Dell de desktop. Now, right? This is a 17 inch Dell desktop. If you go there, the price will be given as what? 35,000 rupees. <laughs> that 35,000 rupees is inclusive of 88 GB RAM. Two year extended warranty and then 720p camera and then a joystick. Let us say so. These four items they will not have a price of zero. And then, if a customer is choosing 16 GB, the price will be added with thousand rupees extra. So, 35,000 plus 1000 is what 36,000. <coughs> Likewise, we'll be giving it Clear okay. Up. That's the start price, or yeah. you know, <coughs> clear on my example. Is it clear? So you may yeah, price yeah. the components depending upon if you want to charge the customer, you'll be putting a price. Otherwise, you'll be giving a zero price for the components. So the pricing uh, completely varies. It's only an example. You only have to discuss with the end customer. The way. So let me see whether all items price is there. Fine, click on search. No search. We have all items price of one is in place actually. So in my case, whenever a customer chooses any of the components, <laughs> that $1 will be added to the top. <coughs> Got it? 
<laughs> I meant like that. But in reality, every component will be having a price in a real situation. Clear on this now, fine. Only for my simplicity, I have now used all the items price for the remaining components. Fine. Whenever you choose a 720 dB or 180 dB, one dollar will be added to the top. But in reality, every component will be having a price. It may have a zero price or some price depending upon how the customer wants. Clear? So go there, give a seven close. So we already have the all items price in place actually. Thank you, answer close. That's it. And that's it. Now we are going to begin the configurator after the break at eight o'clock. Any doubts till now? We have got five more minutes for this session. Is it all clear now? Yes, Nana, clear. Good then, fine. So we'll now break. Uh, just one question, Nana. Did we define uh, OP and ME for the ATO model? ATO model, I told you, OP and ME are not applicable at all. Ah, okay. the, top, the top element of a uh, bill will not have OP and ME at all. Okay. The top element of a bill, of an intended bill, I'm saying, the top element of an intended bill will not have any OP and ME. We cannot define it. Only the lower levels can get. Any other questions from anybody? Uh, do we need to define the individual prices for the items of 16 GB RAM and that's where extra uh, price reality, will come in? In reality, this 35,000 rupees for the Dell i7 laptop is inclusive of 8 GB RAM, but not of 16 GB RAM. So the customer, you're going to charge additionally 1,000 rupees now. The 16 GB RAM may be at a price of, let us say, 3,500. But you're going to charge only 1,000 because he's buying this model itself. Got it now, fine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Having a price of 16 GB with 1,000 rupees now. 8 GB will be having a price of zero. If you choose 8 GB, no need to pay him anything extra at all. The 35K is covering everything. Getting it now, fine? This is only an example again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I got it. I got it. What the example now, fine? So, in reality, you have to discuss with the customer and accordingly price everything. <clears throat> Some companies, so the model itself will be having a zero price, and then as and when he chooses the option, the, every option will be having a different different price. <coughs> <coughs> Got it? So it all depends upon company to company about how you're going to price this now. Fine. I have made a price of 100 in the top, and then every component is one dollar. It will be getting additive to the top. Edge. Good, then fine. Go that. I will not stop. And we'll come back and then we'll now start our configurator after the break. Now. So I'm now going to begin my final session of the day. So we are now going to see the configurator now. Fine, it's a very tough one. So let me go on and share my screen. So first of all, I will now save this one. Go to the control. It has now got converted. You go to the score main. Open up this one. Right. We have the classroom that works. It's configured to like it and then name it. 21. Configured to <clears throat> let me upload it over there. File upload and go down. The 20 second file is going to be up. So uploading is taking place. Now we are going to see the configurator now straight away. Hey, what are the number I given? 21. Okay. It is uploaded. So let us now begin the configurator. So before which we have to run the refresh and start because it has to be sensed with the sales order. Now. So let us now go there, go to the plan inputs, and then we'll not run the collections actually. Supply chain planning. And then you go to the plan inputs. Let us not perform a collection actually because we have to sense this in the sales order actually. Click on it. We'll now go there. Click on the collect planning data. Any new features introduced by Oracle, just like that, don't close your eyes and then use it. No, fine. Please don't do it. If it is really useful, then do it. No, fine. I will now collect all the reference data and then I go to the supply planning data and then I will now collect all. So click on it. Let me submit it. So let this concurrent be running parallel in the background. So that it will now make your uh, order as an item to be sensed on the sales order. Actually. So we will now log out and log in. Now, right? Because we started, right? after having done everything on the configurator, we have now brought the model. Right? We will now log out and log in and then start our activity. Also. So click on sign in. 
so i am now working on scm 07 of student it is a welcome one to the double capital w the other uh, other uh, what's called other users are having a different password so you can also use the same scm 07 if you are working on this instance provided the instance works for a long time i don't know how long it's going to work no fine sometimes on sunday morning they will be the cloning it actually fine i'm not very sure about it fine i'm not very sure about it but if they clone it you are you are lost fine you have to again create everything new fine there's a big pain actually you know for the past for the past almost two weeks they have not cloned it fine you are really very fortunate actually so click on the configurator model go there so we already have a workspace fine go there click on it so this is a model fine it is not it released actually for production and then we have an error now fine we'll be having error so let us now go there and then here what happens i click on the model fine select and then click on it i'm going to edit the model so go there so the model is there with the four option classes available over there fine so this is called a standard structure this is called a standard structure so we have a standard structure with four option classes available so click on the test model i click on the test model so here i'm going to wait and go there so you know enable the pricing so now enable the pricing and then you will now put the corporate price link segment one no fine corporate and go there so write it so corporate price price pricing strategy group one no fine that is the one which is used by vision no corporate pricing strategy group one use it so click on okay so with this one we are enabling the pricing and we want to test so let us now test the model first of all so whatever you are configured will be coming up over here now this place so it is now going to open up the model so all the four Uh, option classes will be shown over here for you to you know, whatever that do the things on. so it is not coming this is a mandatory option class so go there click on it now see so we will now have a look at this one go to space so how about this you know say complicated excel the one not coming at all and white so so let me close it and then open it up close the window don't save now And then open it up. <clears throat> Sometimes what happens is the beginning. So this is the option class. Now the customer is not knowledgeable on the RAM actually. He don't know whether to choose 8 GB or 16 GB. So go there. So he don't know. So if he don't choose anything, what the system will do? Tell me. Anybody? Can you make a guess now? It is a mandatory one. So one of the RAM has to go into your desktop. Otherwise, it will not work. It will not choose which one now. 8 GB or 16 GB? Come on. Make a guess now. Oh, your one. Eight GB, eight GB only. Why not sixteen GB? Ha. The competing components now. So the free eight, one year free, one year is not coming to him for editing at all. So the free eight is not coming. Why not sixteen GB and then why eight GB? Make a guess now. Doesn't matter. Sixteen. Sixteen. Why not? None. None. He is unable to understand what to choose now. The system will not choose eight GB. Why? I don't know. If you're not talking, please, please mute it. No, fine. There's so much of a noise is coming. Please mute it. When you talk, you press the space bar and talk. Space bar will temporarily unmute. No, fine. Tell me why not 16 GB? Tell me, come here, come on, make a guess now. Just make a guess. It will choose the basic configuration link. Which is the basic configuration? How does the system knows which is the basic configuration? It is a computer. It doesn't know. 8 GB is a basic or 16 GB is a basic. It doesn't know. Who is saying that? uh basically it will take uh, number series no 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 a very simple answer now it will only choose 8 gb why based on the cost no 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 it is not based top on top one top one top one is 100% correct now fine the top one will be the first choice by the system actually good 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 fine now if i choose 8 gb you cannot choose 16 gb at all if you go there it is a radio button a radio button will not allow you to choose only one of them now only one of them you can choose So if you choose none, the system will not choose the top element. It will not choose the top element automatically. The next one. So the next one is what? It is again what? It is a mandatory option class. He has to choose either the two-year warranty or a UPS one. So the exclusion test is or whatever that is a free item. Right? So here go there. So here what he can do is one or any. He can choose multiple now. He can choose multiple. If he can choose only only one, then it becomes as an option class. Here what happens? He can choose the two-year warranty as well as UPS also. It becomes a tick mark on. A radio button. It will allow you to choose only one. Got it now? <clears throat> now, can you go away without choosing anything? <clears throat> can you go and then finish the configuration without choosing anything? <clears throat> it is a mandatory option class. No. No is no. No, no. Possible. The customer doesn't know whether he wants a two-year warranty or a UPS. 
he will chase nothing he will choose nothing and then go away it will allow him then what the system will do now come on first one oh, so some error message it will not give anything it will not take the first one automatically got it now fine if he chooses nothing because customer may not be knowledgeable on this one he will not yaar mere ko pata hi nahi hai ki dono chuki charge kya hai agar so he will not choose nothing and then he will not finish it off and then the system will not choose the first one because it is a mandatory one the first one will be chosen now fine clear on this now fine go that one so you can even choose now fine this word is called one or any <coughs> the third one is what zero or one since the maximum you can choose is one one it is a radio button <coughs> you can choose another if he chooses nothing whether the 720 cap p camera will be included or not if he chooses nothing yes. No, no. yes yes the first one will be included it is zero it is zero <laughs> talk to smita so it is zero actually fine go that so if he chooses if he goes away no camera will be chosen at all got it now fine no camera because he may choose he may not choose fine right? nothing is basically mandatory here now got it now he chooses nothing no camera will be included only on a mandatory one the first one will be chosen if customer is not choosing anything clear on this now fine here nothing will be chosen because both are optional now it's got zero or one can you choose both the cameras <coughs> can you choose both oh, no 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 he cannot with the radio button you cannot choose both now <coughs> now we come to final one now. it is zero or any so since he can choose anything what happens he can choose a graphic card or joystick now fine so if he chooses both will both be included in the uh, order order sales order yes 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 nothing how many will be included the first item will be included or not if he no. choose why no, no. he doesn't choose anything nothing nothing because it's zero or any got it now fine since it is zero or any if he chooses nothing that will be included in sales order at all got it now good 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 fine you understood it fine i will not give a cancellation so you understood the i am going to go for a complex one now. Uh, nana sir in the first uh, uh, op option class how the user will come to know he has to choose either of uh, the options as a mandatory is there any i mean there is a asterisk or anything from the uh, visual perspective no the i am not a customer i am a gada i don't know what is 8 gb and then i don't know what is 6 gb i will not keep none and then go since i am a gada since i know nothing about it i don't know what to choose i leave it the system automatically chooses the first one ah okay got it now Yes. Nana, can you explain the second one, class four two? Second one, fine. On, on mandatory option, class two now. So here, what I want you to see, it is what one or any. So here, what happens? He can choose the two year warranty or the UPS, or he can even choose both also. But if the customer prefers not to choose anything, what will happen? The customer chooses because he don't know anything about it. This guy is not knowledgeable on this item as well as this item. He will not choose anything at all. in this case so nothing will come right no 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 it is one it is mandatory. mandatory so first will come first will come automatically it is a mandatory class so first two are mandatory classes so the first item will come automatically in the sales order got it on the mandatory one on the mandatory is nothing the first first component will be coming automatically on the sales order got it any other doubts on this now fine now itself will be cleared on got the it, Three and four are the one. Yeah. So because of optional, the fourth one will not select anything. The third and fourth, if he chooses nothing, nothing will be chosen because they are all optional. Yet. Good. Then we will not go hard now. Fine. Come on, guys. Now we are going to begin the real configuration. I will not give a cancel and then come out of it. Fine. I am not giving a cancel in the way. So now I am not going to create supplementary structures actually. let me create the supplementary structures so these are all the main structures for the configurator we will going to create a supplementary structures keep your cursor on the model and go that click on it we will not create a first options features now I click on the create options features first one i am going to create and click on the create options features i am not going to create a first option feature now i will not say one to one i will not say options options feature <clears throat> so i am not creating the first options features So this is a supplementary structure. This is known as a supplementary structure. So the minimum selection is a mandatory one. I will not keep it as one now. Fine. Maximum is not it. So click on it. Enable option quantities. Normally you won't enable it at all. It will not be enabled actually. So you won't be enabling on this one. Fine. The options on this one 
on options features, we will not be enabling it. But there are cases where we are enabling it. So we will be uh, working on advanced level at the time, what happens, you have to make it as a, as of now, what happens, I make it as a no, and then click on okay. Fine, first options features is now created. Options features is great. So below which I will be having multiple options. Now, previously I kept my cursor on the model and then I created the options feature. Now, you keep your cursor on the options features and then I will now create three options below it. So you keep your cursor on this side, drop it down. You will now only create options coming. If you keep your cursor on the model, you will have five options now. One, render, moon, null, and R, six are coming. I know that six are coming. But if you keep your cursor on the options features, only one will come. So go ahead and click on create option. <clears throat> I will now say 1T1, 1T1, regular desktop, regular desktop. I'm not creating So I'm not creating the first one. I'm take copy and then go there, click on it, paste it, and then apply and create another one. And then I will now say 1T1, business desktop. So business desktop, I'm going to create. If I take copy and then put the description on and click on create another one. And then I will now create another one called gaming desktop. Gaming desktop. So take a copy of it and then put on the description. <clears throat> and then click on OK. Fine. I now created three options below the options feature. I now created three options below the option feature. So we are going to test it now first of all. So the option features has got three options. Now, this is called a supplementary structure. Fine. So there are, if you see it, there are six supplementary structures are available here. Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. The final one, I don't know. Fine. The remaining five, I will not explain it to you. So somebody make an R&D and then tell me what exactly the final one. So we are into the first supplemental structure and go back to it and then give a save. So you can save. So as and when you create it, what happens? You give a save. Now let me create a rule for this. I'm not going to get a rule. So go to the rules area. Fine. Structure is now created. I go to the rules area and then let me create a rule. I go to the rules and then I'm going to get a rule. So first of all, we have to clump all the relevant rules into a folder actually. So after having created, so we have now created our first supplementary structures with three options now. Fine. One options futures is a supplementary structure. It has got three options. And then after having done this, I go to the rules and then I will now create a folder now. Fine. You always group your rules into folders now because there will be hundreds of rules will be available. Your folder will now easily identify what one you are creating. Fine. You will now create a folder now. Create a rules folder. Sir, is that option future uh, created automatically by the system or it is still? No, I created it. All the supplementary structures I created, all the standard ones came automatically. All the four models, which are standard structures, they came automatically. Is it clear? Okay. I will now say rules folder. Four option classes came automatically upon import now. The standard yeah. structures come automatically. I am unable to answer your question. I have answered your question or not. Yeah, that one is fine, sir. You have an option option feature in the structure uh, tab. You have an uh, There is a supplementary feature. one now. Fine, give a save now. Fine. In the structure, I created a supplementary structure below which it has got three options. Okay. I only okay. created it. It will come automatically. Okay. So below uh, what's called an options future supplementary structure, I created three options now. Got it? Got it. Got it now. I only created it. It will not come automatically. I only created it. Is it answering? I'm answering your question now. Yes, sir. So now here, what happens? I made a rule. Now. In this rule, let me create a rule. Now. A rules folder. Fine. Clump all the rules into relevant folders. When you have multiple hundreds of rules are there, means what? You keep them in a very proper manner so that it will be easy for you to work upon. Fine. I know I'm not going to have not much of a rules basically. Fine. But again, what happens in reality? You'll be having to have multiple rules. Now. So drop down. That first one you only created, is it, sir? There are one, two, three. I don't know, say, these are the ones. So one T thing, one T. No, no, no. no, no, no. The folder, folder, uh, folder under rule. I only created the folder just before you now. Oh, not this, the above one, ATO desktop model. This is a re ready made one. This is a model now. Fine. Okay. This came from here now. The models and then these four option classes are come from the, what happens, your uh, snapshot. When you take a snapshot, all the five came in now into the, into the configurator. The desktop model and then all the four option classes came into the what is called configurator automatically got it now fine. so this is the top element of the your intended bill actually this, this came automatically in this place also if you see that is the one which is now coming automatically in this place in the rules area also this is now coming up over here got it now fine. so now i am now going to create a rule so go there click on it so i will now create a rule no fine 
create a statement rule now. And click on the create statement rule. So go there, drop it down, and then click on create statement rule. Now. I will now say one t one regular stop selection. So go there. So I am now going to select a regular desktop. Take off it. Go there. So give a meaningful name because. Uh, it has to be understood by it has to be understood it has it has to be it must be understood by all now. and then this is always a con constraint of that there are so many defaults and other things are there so we always use a what's called rule rule class as a constraint of and click on here so my first rule is now getting created now I am going to write this rule so my cursor is on the rule now regular desktop selection is a rule name so you learn that so if you keep a cursor on the folder what happens the folder is coming on the right hand side if you keep a cursor on the rule, the rule will be coming on the right hand side. So I'm going to write a rule now. Fine. The rule is coming. I'm not going to. This is called constraints definition language. And we can even write a groovy script also. I don't know how to do it. Now. Fine. We can even write a groovy script. If you know groovy script, we can even write a groovy script. Otherwise, what happens? A CDL, the constraints definition language is the very easy one. You're going to do it. Come on. So this is the one first we have made now. The structure, what happens? We are now created. What? You know, give a save now. Fine. Do you want to? The changes will not be saved. Do you want to continue? Fine. I will not give a no, no, fine. Let me save it now. As and when you keep on doing it, whatever you give a save, save. Now, if you go to the structure, no, fine, whatever you want. So, we have a ready made structure, fine. These are all the standard structure now, fine, which has got a model and then four option classes. And then I have created a supplementary structure with three options. So, let me go to the rule and then let me write the rule now. When you keep your cursor on the model, the model will not be coming there. When you keep your cursor on the rule, the rule will be coming on the right hand side. I am not going to write a rule now. So expand the structure. <clears throat> so go there. So here, expand the option feature. And then here, I will not choose the regular step. Fine, go there. So let me add it to my rule now. Let me add the rule. So let me give a plus fine. I, in the structure area, I am choosing the appropriate supplementary structures option now. Option future is a structure, and then I'm choosing the appropriate option. Okay? It's a very complex one. Please listen to me very carefully while you're rerunning the video. Okay? Now it's okay. When you're rerunning it, what happens? Listen to it very carefully and then take notes. Now. So click on plus by which what happens? The CDL language I'm building it. So click on plus that will be coming up along with the path actually. So here there are four logical operators. Let me test on all the four. Okay? So first is in place. So first is in place. So if he chooses a regular stop, then what happens? He wants only 8 GB RAM. Go that you want it. You will not expand the mandatory option class. Go that you want it. Expand it. And then choose the 8 GB RAM. And then let me add it after in place. Keep your cursor on this place. You keep your cursor on the 8 GB RAM. Fine. Click on plus now. Fine. So this means what? If he is choosing a regular desktop, it implies it is 8 GB RAM. Fine. Give a semicolon. So give a semicolon. Semicolon. The rule is written. So give a save. And then validate it. So give a save. And then I'm going to validate it. Click on validate. Whether I have written the rule correctly or not, I'm going to validate it. So there are no errors found. We'll not test it now. Fine. Click on test model. I'm going to test the rule. So click on test the model. Fine. 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 So go there. Everything is okay. Fine. Click on okay. Now. So the corporate pricing strategy. Your changes were saved. Click on yes now. Fine. It will now be saving it actually. I think I have saved them. No, I have not saved it. So the customer will be given this sheet now. This sheet will be coming to him now. So go there. He is now choosing regular desktop. Automatically, the 8 GB RAM is sold. Why, why the zero is coming on the 16 GB RAM? Tell me. Why the zero is coming on the 16 GB RAM? Anybody? Mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive is 100% correct. Sweta is very correct. Now, he has chosen the regular desktop, but he can override also. Are you going to 8 GB? Are you going to 16 GB? So the moment he changes, he overrides his own decision, the regular desktop selection will go away. So he says, I want 16 GB RAM and not 8 GB RAM. So, you know, is currently excluded. That is what it is saying. It's giving a warning here. Are you Jao, Pora, Ponga. So, click on yes. And then what happens? It will now override his own selection. The regular goes away. Got it now, fine. So, he can even choose via the options. And then he can even override him. He is the ultimate person to decide what he wants. Fine. He can even override his own selection, actually. If you again click on it, what happens? That will be coming now, fine. Click on yes now, fine. So that will be coming. Again, he can override it also. Got it? Fine. The first is in test. Fine. You cancel. Any doubts on this? No, fine. So the first one is test. We'll not go there. We'll not test the next one. Uh, no, no. Sorry. I didn't understand why the zero has come uh, for 16 GB. Because this is the one and only one. He can choose only 8 GB or 16 GB only. So the other option is ruled out, right? Yeah. The other option is ruled out. System has put a zero on that. 
so the zero is an indication that that option is ruled out yeah that option is ruled out and one clicks one one chip okay thanks we'll now go on and test our language for the second one now find the second part we'll now go there enter remember there must be a semicolon at the end of it so you know expand the structure so the structure cannot be expanded you expand the rule and then afterwards expand the structure and then once when you expand the rule then only you can expand the structure you know we'll again choose the regular stop and go that to keep your cursor on this place regular stop and then i'm going to add so this time i am going to use the other operator fine go that you want it i will now use the requires operator so click on the requires operator second operator fine go that you want it so go there i will now go to the second model fine go that so the 8 gb is now completed fine go that you want it i will now go to the accessories mandatory option class so it will now say what happens if the ups is required i will now select it and click on plus you keep your cursor on the requires afterwards and then keep your cursor on the ups and click on plus that get added up so put a semicolon fine go that you want a semicolon and then here give a save now. first of all save and then validate so validate the rule so we are validating it fine where is one so click on test now fine we want to test it so once when it test it what happens it no say that it is not done so click on yes now fine game no giving you one maybe after validation you have to again save it i think probably so the moment i put a regular to stop the 8 gb ram will be selected and the ups also will be selected come on you can now see the ups is also selected and you can even choose the other one also right you can choose the other one also so this is not spoiling the regular desktop it is the addition only and if you remove the us fine what happens it will no it will no remove the regular desktop got it now fine any doubts on this now if you choose as one extra the regular desktop still remains there but if you choose as whatever it has recommended it will not take away his choice actually his choice via this options features is not out the second one is tested no questions thank good so you understood it so give a cancel we'll look over the third one now thank you for asking the logo for the third one good up so keep your cursor after the semicolon enter now and go that point again expand the rule then only the structure will come expand the rule the structure will come then only so expand the structure so again i go to the regular stop and you keep your cursor there fine so click on it now regular stop let me add it it comes it is coming along with the path we'll now go for the third logical operator negates and click on negates and keep your cursor on this place i will now go to the third structure now fine the third main structure remember so the third main structure i'm going to go for it expand it that is 1 t304 now go there so it is going to negate now fine so if he is choosing a regular desktop then 1080p is not required at all 1080p is not required so keep your cursor on this place now fine keep your cursor on this place fine click on negate and then keep your cursor on this place. is no way to negate it click on plus go there go down and then give a semicolon at the end of the cdl language fine constraints definition language give a save now and then click on validate fine go there again save and then go to the test mode after validation what happens you save it so click on okay now <clears throat> now go there so it is going to negate the camera fine if you want to choose it now fine go there so you got what 8 gb ram and then ups and then 1080 camera is negated but if he chooses this he is now overriding it right it is now giving a warning and then it will now remove the regular desktop so here what happens is now remove it it will cancel so you only have to write it very properly right how you want to have it you have to write it very properly we will now go on then just the last one now this now go there so enter now fine we will go on this expand the rules <clears throat> expand the structure now the real part of configurator is yet to come now <laughs> The real bottom configuration is yet to come. Fine, go there. So click on the regular desktop and then click on plus. Now, fine, go there. I'm not going to test the last one. So go to the logical operator. I will now say excludes. Now. Click on excludes. Fine, keep a cursor on this place. Go down and then I will now go to the last one, the last standard structures one. Now, fine, go there. The one. So gaming one is not going to exclude it. Now, fine, for a standard one, fine, go there. The graphics card is not required at all. It is not going to exclude. Keep a cursor after excludes and then keep a cursor on the graphic and then click on add. You know, exclude it. Fine, go there. and then put a semicolon on this one and then give a save and then test it validate it so click on validate and now validate it and after validation again give a save and then test the ball so the graphics card is excluded if he is going for a regular desktop so if he goes for a regular desktop what happens go there so here you can see the graphics card is excluded and that's it so we are now tested on the options uh, one and out what is the difference between negates and exclude same right <laughs> there is some meaning when you go to go through the what's called a, a documentation of fine that will explain there is a difference but you only have to read it on negation and exclusion has got something 
the exclusion is basically removing something from the negate is what that particular component is removed of. Eh? Since we don't have much of options here, uh, it's okay. But exclusions and negations, there is a difference. Eh? You go through the document, there is a difference. Eh? So, but I don't have the patience to go through the document. Eh? There is a difference between mm -hmm. exclusion and negation. So, give a save. Now, we will now go there and then create our next rule. Or the next structure, actually. And you know, go on and create a next course structure. So here I have now made one options feature. Let me create my next supplementary structure now. So the first supplementary structure I have tested only on one now. On regular itself, I tested business desktop and gaming desktop is a lab access for you. You can try this one. Only one option I tested it. The remaining you can test it now. Right? You put different combinations of computers. So let me create a next one now. I keep my cursor on the model and then let me create my next supplementary structure. I think now. The options feature is not done. I will not create an integer feature. So click on create integer feature. So go there. One T one. <clears throat> so here I'm now saying how many applications? You will run. So how many applications you're going to run at a time in the basic desktop? So you're going to ask him. So take a copy of it and then put a description of the mod. So minimum is one. And then uh, maximum also, you can give it uh, maximum is also mandatory. So if you uh, go for more than five applications, this desktop may not even work at all. Simultaneously, if you're running five applications, so it may not work. So depending upon the need, you have to do it. So I know the minimum and maximum are basically mandatory. Actually. System default always use it and then click on OK. So the next integer structure is now created. Give us same. Now we'll now create a rule for this one. The rule. So let us now create a rule. So go there, click on it. So we'll now give a name. So create a statement rule now. Fine. <clears throat> I will now say one T one. Fine. How many apps you will run at any time? <clears throat> fine, fine. You're going to ask him if you're going to run more than five applications. The desktop may not work at all. I will not pick out. Okay. And now I will now write a, what's called a serial language function. So how many apps you are going to run at any point? So go the expand structure. If the structure is not coming, rule expanded, then the structure will come. Now go there, keep your cursor on what? The options futures is not completed. You keep your cursor on the integer structure. Go there, click on it. So you go there, go to the options futures. So you have to keep, the, the cursor is already on the rule actually. The cursor is already on the rule. So here, what I'm going to do is what? I will now choose this now. So options futures. This is the one. I will now choose the how many applications click on add now. So I will now say logical operator is implies now. I will now say implies. I will now say greater than three now. Greater than two. So if it is greater than two, you will now recommend what? A 16 GB RAM. If you are going to use more than two applications, it will be a 16 GB RAM. Otherwise, 8 GB RAM. Otherwise, I am not putting it. You have to put the else. There are so many operators are there. So you have to write in a very complex manner, actually. I'm not writing a very simple one, but you may have to write a very complex one. The and is there, or is there. There are so many mathematical functions are there, logical functions, arithmetic functions, trigonometric functions. So many are there. No? It's not an easy job at all. Fine, remember, fine. you have to write it. I'm not writing it. So if then else also, we can use it and then we can write it. Fine. I am not saying if it is more than two. I know that. So I will do recommend what is 16 GB RAM for this. <clears throat> Go there. I will not choose the first mandatory option class. I will not choose the 16 GB RAM. I keep a cursor on this place. I will not choose the 16 GB RAM. Let me add it. So if it is going to be more than two, fine, go there. Semicolon. I will not give a save and then validate the rule. So click on validate. The error has come found on column one as expected token. Fine, go there. So what is the thing? Is greater than two. Fine. So uh, uh, what's called? First line semicolon. No, no, semicolon is there. Semicolon is not a problem. This greater than two is giving a problem. It is not implies actually. It is not implies. Sorry, there is no implies at all. Right? If that, how many applications will be run at any point out is greater than two straight away. I think no implies. I think and give us save now. I will not test it. Now. Click on validate. The error is count fine for that. So desktop model. <clears throat> Uh, oh, uh, you, afterwards you have to give in place. If this is going to be more than two, then we have to add the logical operator in place. Okay, fine. 
when this number of applications is going to be greater than 2 then it implies 16 gb ram right? the implies has to come afterwards so click on validate right? see for such a small thing we are not making mistakes actually <laughs> when you make a then else and all fine it will be very clear so if this number of applications greater than 2 then it implies 16 gb ram we will not test it the integer model you will test okay come on we are testing it so click on okay now fine let us so here he is not going to write one now and then give a tap nothing will be chosen if he is going to write three automatically three applications are going to be run now how many applications you are going to run at time for the keyboard the 16 gb ram is not getting selected this for the 8 gb ram the zero has been put and if he chooses this what happens we are overriding it and then the that entry itself will be removed now. so if you go for four applications now fine for the keyboard it automatically chooses what click on yes now fine is not giving you a warning and with that so it's not giving you a warning so it chooses this <clears throat> got it now fine so the integer is not tested so we are tested fine give a cancel we will not go on that go for the third structure third supplementary structure we are going to go for now. give a same on the we go to the structure we will not create the third supplementary structure fine the second supplementary structure is not created keep your cursor on the desktop model let me create the third one now fine with that i will not go for the decimal feature and create a decimal feature so click on the decimal feature create a decimal feature i will not say 1t1 <clears throat> fine uh, i will not say uh, i will not simply say decimal because i don't have any examples on the decimal feature decimal feature i'm testing now so take a copy of it and then put on the description paste it over so minimum is 1 and then uh, max minimum is 0 decimal means what 0 to 1 now fine that way i do one thank you one so click on okay so the decimal feature is now going to be tested so give us say at any point i'm going to keep on saving it and go to the rules now click on the rules and then we're going to get a rule now. so go to the rules now fine. so expand the rules now keep your cursor on this place now fine. the rules folder what happens you keep your a cursor on the appropriate rules folder and then create a rule now fine. so that it will be coming below that actually if you expand it what happens you can now see we have now created how many rules two rules we have created now. so it has to be kept in the appropriate place then do it now fine. so the regular stop and the point so uh, here it has not been kept on this place remember it is now coming below the 80 80 model desktop now this is one rule and then this one there's a wrong one now i should have kept in the rules folder than created i should have kept my cursor on the appropriate rules folder created i made a mistake and so both the rules are coming separately below what below a, uh, what's called below the desktop model below the desktop model one rule folder is there which has got only one rule and then this rule is now appearing separately that is wrong i had to keep my cursor on the appropriate folder and then afterwards i had to create a rule i made a mistake i created a statement rule now i will not say it's a 1t1 decimal feature decimal feature and what will be happening so take a copy of it and then put the description of another so click on okay so i am now creating a rule for decimal feature so now it is coming under the rule for rules folder now now you go there i will not expand it and then wait i will not go there expand the structure and then let me choose the decimal feature and go there i will now keep a cursor here now and then click on the decimal feature and then click on add it that will become I will not say it's equal to. I will not put some decimal number. Zero point four seven. I will not say implies. It implies. And then if it is, a, if he is not putting a decimal feature of this thing, what happens? He go there. I will not choose something on the second one. I will not choose something. I will not say uh, two year extended warranty. I'm going to choose. I click on plus one and that gets chosen. Go there. It's called a semicolon. So go there and then click on save <clears throat> and then validate it. I click on validate. Now there are things that again give a save and then test it. It is 0.47. is going to do it. Click on OK. So the UPS gets selected if it is going to be 0.47. The UPS gets selected. I will not say 0.46 and then give a tap. It is not getting selected. I will not put 0.47, 0.47 and then give a tap. The UPS gets selected. And then the two year extension warranty. So we are challenged. There are some things. And then if you choose as UPS, we will not see what happens. It is optional. Nothing will happen. Fine. So if you remove this, the 0.47 will go away. Got it. So the decimal future is tested. Any doubts? Good. Nobody is having any doubt. I give a cancel. We'll no. Sir, on what cases do we will be using the decimal feature? Only how to discuss. Fine. So I am not teaching you how to play chess, but to become a grandmaster, you only have to play, 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 and then see. You no. Know. <laughs> when you you have to see the conditions which they are giving accordingly which feature you had to use and accordingly you will fine so that is your decision in the field so give a cancel when you had to use what that is a million dollar question fine that will not be taught in a training actually 
<laughs> go to the structures now right that is why i told you do not take this job at all it is a very very difficult job you know so go there you know go down so we are not done the options futures integer future decimal we now go for the boolean now right? take on the great boolean future so that so 1t1 boolean future so we go the, go for the boolean which right? take off it and put the description so click on okay now so i am not creating a boolean future right? give a save let me create a rule for this so go there here give a save so go to the rule right? click on the rule go there in the rule what happens is you keep your cursor on the pop it folder and then do it now right? expand it and then i will not keep my cursor on the rules folder and then create a rule now right? click on it and create a rule right? so we got 1t1 boolean and then always give a meaningful name so that others who are working on it they can understand what exactly you written there the rule is written the rule be coming on the right hand side now so go the expand the structure we are going to do it so keep your cursor on this place i will not add the boolean fine so i click on plus one that will be getting added so i will not say one <coughs> equal to one fine so either it is going to be equal to or one or zero actually go to the rule i will not only use the implies now fine that point i will not use the third structure now fine that point so it is not done now fine so in the go on camera options i will not say if it is going to be one i will not choose that tenity camera so click on plus now fine so i will not put a semicolon on this now fine that point so click on save <coughs> and then i click on validate and then again save and then test it so if you put say on id what happens it will be choosing the uh, what's called uh, that particular 10 1080 pv camera so go there so 1080p if you put a boolean feature if you click on it what happens the 1080p camera is not suitable right since it is a what's called uh, uh, so give a cancel and then we will not go for the next structure next supplementary structure we are going to go for click on it now go there so go there i will not give always a give save and then come over you keep your cursor on this place now going there so you go there i will not click on plus now and go there so i will not go for the text future now click on the great text future <coughs> so one thing one text future so we are not creating a text future now and go there it is a very very cumbersome job try to avoid it now fine <laughs> then character length and click on okay now right In the field, how difficult it is now. If people say that it's really very difficult to whatever work on it, and then go to the rules now. Fine, let us now create a text feature rule. So expand it and then keep your cursor on the appropriate folder. And do that. On the appropriate folder and then create a rule. Create a shape rule. I will now say one t one my text feature. Go there. So click on it, take a copy and then put the description. Now. And then click on OK by which whatever the text feature is now done. Do that. So go to the structure and then create the CDL now. Find constraints, definitional language you go to. click on the next feature and then click on plus that will be coming on so i will not say it is equal to fine i will not say no no within quotes no fine the text means what single quote i will not i will not do a single quote is a single quote. i am not very sure about it no no i will not put a single quote no fine if it is not possible then i will not will not call the technical team no fine in place so if it is going to be no no as a text feature fine it implies what no fine go down i will not choose the last one on this page no I will not go to the what's called already to the last one. Right? Go to the games now. Right? Click on games. I will not say it's a graphics card is implied. Right? Click on plus. Semicolon and then we will not make a check of it. Right? Click on save now. <clears throat> and then validate it. So the node Nana was not found. Come on. Uh, text future is equal to Nana. Oh God! There is a mistake. Now. Maybe it should be one of the fields in this. Uh, Why would double quote now? Double quote, ah? Huh? No, see, can see now. I will not click on validate. The node Nana was not found. It is equal to is not say text future. Uh, I will not say like, like. And then give us the same option because technically I don't know much about it. Click on validate. The node now is not been using double quote now, so I will not put a equal to, and then we will not try with a double quote. Ah, uh, double quote. Uh, the definition rule class is constrained only now for this case also. Ah? The definition rule class constrained only. It is a constraint only. It is a it is only constraint. Nothing else is there. So click on see now. It is only constraint only. Click on validation. Yeah, Nalin is very correct. Nalin told double quote. It is working now. Fine, correct. Not. <laughs> okay, give us see now. 
double quote we had write the text also good good nali go there so here i will know what was the text future i am going to write nana fine in which case what are the one graphic card as you choose i will now say nana 1 and then give a tap nothing is chosen if i write nana then give a tap the graphic card is chosen but so it is a double quote so it is also tested i cancel it <clears throat> now the final one i don't know in this place what happens it is basically referencing something in right? this place we keep it now so this one i i even read the document also i couldn't understand the create connector the connector has to be created and then there are so many objects are available here now right? and then i couldn't understand this now right? if somebody can understand the connector please inform us about how to do it now, right? i don't know how to do it actually so this is not known to me so apart from that what happens i have not shown you all of the structures now right one two three four five structures this i don't know now the real work is going to be in right the configurator's real activity is going to come so apart from writing the rules you have to write the user interface now. so click on the user interface and then the real activity of a configurator work is now coming up here is here here we are going to make the real design actually so the real design of our website is going to be done only on the user interface from the corner so go there having done all the structures and then all the rules everything in place now fine so we'll now go there and then go to the user interface click on the user interface this is the real place where your work really starts so click on plus i'm now going to create a user interface one thing one user interface i'm not creating a user interface now so take it over and put the description so here there are multiple templates are available here normally we always use the step by step navigation with enhanced selection there are so many things single page single page all the things are there but many of the implementations will be using a step by step navigation they mass distraction you can even try other things also but this is the best one which everybody chooses you choose the step by step navigation they mass distraction controls and go the same and close and that's it thank you that you are now created it so the user interface is now created so give us say give us say we are now going to test it now and step by step navigation with enhanced selection we are going to test it so go that command so i am going to test the model so go that So my user interface is now created with a step-by-step -step navigation. Fine, go there. It is a running summary. How do you want it now? I will now say running summary is what running summary with item description, quantity, and amount. Fine. This is the one we normally choose. So whenever the customer chooses, you know what happens? It will be choosing what the quantity and amount will also be chosen. Running summary with item description, quantity, and amount. The normal selection which will be given for the end customer. We can say we are going to test the model. So click on test model. So click on test model. While testing it, don't use the default. Use your interface. Use your interface. So go there. Click on OK. So use your interface instead of the default one. So click on OK. Now the step by step navigation will be coming up automatically. You can see the complete step by step navigation. So he has chosen the one, and then the hundred dollar amount has to come now. I don't know why it's not coming. So let us now choose the regular desktop. So along with the hundred, everything will be added. And click on the regular desktop. So here it is not coming, but the quantity and amount is not coming at all. I don't know why it's it will normally come. I don't know what is the mistake I'm making it actually. So the moment he chooses a regular desktop, what happens? If you go there, go to the next one, the mandatory option class. The eight GB RAM is selected. If you go to the accessories and mandatory class, what happens? Now uh, the UPS is selected, and then if you go to the camera option, you know that something else will be selected now. On the camera option, if you click on the camera option. So camera option, and similarly on the gaming option, if you go there and choose it, the graphics card is chosen. So depending upon the choices, what happens also? So eight GB RAM and UPS are coming at you. So that's what it is. It is excluded actually. In the in the gaming option, we are excluding it. Right, the zero we are excluding it. Right? This is an exclusion. This is a negation actually. So they are negating it actually. Right? They are negating the 1080 camera, but they are not choosing anything. So in this place, we are negating the 1080 camera. And then here, here we are excluding this one, so that is why it is not coming in the added. Got it? Okay. It is called step by step navigation. Now, for the customer, if you write like this, now one T one three not one eighty or this number, he cannot understand anything. He have to have to modify this number. He have to modify this. So give a cancel number. Let us now modify this. The name can be modified where he can easily understand this. So I now go to the design. Click on the design. I am going to modify the display. So keep my cursor of this page, my desktop model. I will not edit it. No edit it. <clears throat> so give what's called a page caption. And I will not say it's Nana's desktop. So whichever the end customer can understand, accordingly you write it. And the page caption is like this. 
So go there. Give a save. And then test the model. And click on the test the model. So whatever name you're giving it, that will be coming up. Okay. So not as the stock. So every name can be uh, customized to you because it's not coming from the option classes, whatever you choose or not, it's not coming. So you can even very well customize this. So go there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the figures. Now. So give a cancel. This is a real design which is going to start. So here, what happens if you go there, click on it. So if you go to the fusion trend, there is one images directly is there. And double click on so, so let us now insert an image. We are going to insert an image. So in the design part, what happens? If we are in the overview part from there, you come to the design part. The design part has got pages as well as in the bottom resources are available. Fine, the bottom resources. So in the resources, you switch over to the UA elements. When I was in the overview, nothing is there. If you click on the overview, it will not show you only this one. Huh? If you come to the design part, if you come to the design part, you've got pages here. The page name can be changed with the edit now. And then in the bottom resources, you come to the UA elements, right? user interface elements. So let me go and then add an image. Let me add an image. I'm going to add an image. So choose a file. I will not choose a file. I will not go to the image. I will not choose what a regular desktop. I will not choose the regular desktop. So go there. So go to the regular desktop and then click on open off. It gets open. Thank you for open That will be coming up again. So the regular desktop. And then I can even add all text. If people cannot see the image, what happens? I will now say this all text will be displayed. <clears throat> Some machines, if the mobile, what happens? It cannot be displaying the image. If the image is not there, the all text will be displayed. So that's it. Now you can see the desktop has come over here. Thank you. Let's see. Now, let us not test the model. Save it. Click on the test model. I'm going to test it. So, let me test it now. Click on the camera. Now, you can see. So, the desktop is coming. Now, I have to choose this image only when you choose the regular desktop, not for everything. So, I'm going to make a conditional display now. Fine. So, only when you use the regular desktop, the image has to come. And give a cancel now. Fine. You're going to modify this. So, on the image, you'll be having what? One edit now. And click on edit. Click on edit. So I go to modify now. So go there. It is not going to be displayed always. Fine, go there. It's a conditional display. Fine, drop it down. It is conditionally you want to display. Click on the condition. So go there. So object is what? Not the associated model node. Fine, the other model node. Not the associated other model node. I'm going to choose. So go there. Click on it. Expand it. So here you will now choose what on the regular one now. Fine, and the options features. If you choose as the regular one now. Fine, so you choose as the regular desktop. If you choose us this, then only you display it. You choose the in the options, futures, uh, supplementary structure. I'm not choosing the option. Thank you. And then when you choose it, what happens? Is you keep your cursor near and then see whether the full path is visible or not. See? Up to regular desktop, it has to be visible. Up to regular desktop, it is not visible. That means what? It does not come properly here. So attribute is what? Status selection. Status selection state. Selection state is going to be selected. So, if you choose as a regular stop, then only it will be displayed. Otherwise, it will not be displayed at all. So, click on OK. Go there. So, click on Save. Now. Fine. We are now given a conditional one. Give a save. And then we are going to make a test now. So, click on Test Model. We are going to test it. So, click on OK. So, we are testing it. So, here it is not displayed. So, the moment you make a regular stop, what happens? It will be displayed actually. So, if you remove it, it will not be displayed at all. So, on a conditional selection is coming. Now, I want this to be displayed some distance now. Fine. After I say around 300 or 400 pixels, I had to move it. So, there the inline style comes into picture now. So, we have got one more account color in this place. What happens in your images? We have one cascading style sheet is there. Open up. So, we have a, there are plenty of cascading style sheets. So, one of my technical guys only taught me this totally. <laughs> so, he asked me, Nana, you use for the training, this is sufficient. Go back to he told me one inline style sheet. Fine. There are plenty of inline style sheets. It's called cascading style CSS, they call it. So let us now go there and then put this one. We'll now go on and put it on. Go there. So I don't take a copy of it. Now go there. Click on it. We will not put on this place. I will not edit it and then I will not put the inline style sheet. Paste. So instead of 100, I will now say uh, 400. I will not put it. 400, I'm going to put it. So I'm putting it. So it's going to be shifted to 400 on the x-axis. Thank you. Okay. So then now can do that. So click on save. <clears throat> so click on save. I will not test the model. So click on test model. 
So click on okay now. You have to assume it actually. So go there. So if you choose as a regular desktop, it will be now. So we can very well position it on the X and Y axis. And remember, this is the iteration. People have to sit, sit and then accordingly, what happens is design this actually. And how, where exactly you want to display on this one. Now you go there. We will now have one more, what happens is image now. We will now have one more image. So go there. I will not go to the image and then let me add an image. So click on plus now, fine. Let me add a business desktop. So go there. Click on choose now, fine. So I will not say business desktop and go there. So some alt text now, fine. So I know that some alt text. So here I am not going to display always now, fine. Go there. Conditionally, I am going to display. So not the other, other model note. And then if you choose as a supplementary structures, fine. On the options features, if you choose it now, fine. If this guy is going to choose what? A business desktop. On this options, futures, supplementary structure, this options he is going to choose now. If you choose this option, what happens? You give okay now, fine. So once you give okay, always make a check whether it is all coming properly or not. Fine. Move your cursor very near to it and then see on the end, you can see the business desktop is coming. That means it's okay. Click on it. I will now say select and see. There are so many options that are available here now, fine. So you have to choose all those things appropriately. Okay, it is not done. So it is not coming as a business desktop. So go there, click on it. Let alone go there and then save it and then test it. So save it and click on test now. So you can choose only either a regular desktop or a because it is an option. Okay? Below the options future structure, it is an option. So you can choose only one of them. So you go there. If you choose a regular desktop, the regular desktop will be coming. If you choose a business desktop, the regular will go away and then it is not going away. Right? It is not coming. So you only have to manually remove it. Right? It is not not around going. If you choose a regular stop, the regular stop is coming. And then if you choose a business stop, what happens? You have to position all these things in an appropriate manner, actually. All these things have to be positioned. Now, uh, whatever he has chosen, we have to give a what happens, a, a caption in the bottom. We will not give a caption on the bottom. Because uh, that will be more appropriate. Also. So let us now insert a text on this. Go to the text. And then we will not give a text. Now, have, then the image part of it. So I click on plus now. We will not say you have chosen regular desktop. You have to write appropriate one. So I will not put any inline style for this. So you have chosen a regular desktop. <clears throat> so it is again conditionally we are going to display it. Now go there. So other model mode. So if he is choosing a regular desktop, then only it will be done. I will not choose the options features regular option. The regular option, I am going to choose it. Click on OK now. So go near it and then see the regular option, regular stop is coming. So it will now say, say, there are so many things you can test also. Right? There are plenty of things like that. So this will be displayed only when you choose as a regular option. Otherwise, it will not be displayed. I give a save. So click on test now. Right? Go there. So the moment you put a regular desktop, the figure will be coming as well as the text also will be coming. You can see the bottom of the text is coming. You can even position the text accordingly. Right, with the inline style, what happens? You can position this text structure. And if you choose a, what is called remove it, it will go away. The text will go away. And then if you choose the business stop, you can even put appropriate text on the appropriate place. Actually, right. you have to position it. Remember, it's a big, big job of positioning your text, images, everything. Right. It is a real iteration, and then it is a very painful job. Only youngsters can sit and then do it, not you. If you are more than 30 years, you are not fit for configurator at all. <laughs> do not take up this job. You cannot do it. Fine. 100 iterations you will do means what? You won't have the patience at all. <laughs> okay, man. Now, now I can even insert a page also here. So below the mandatory class, what happens? I won't insert a page. I will not insert a page. Fine. Plus, no, fine. <clears throat> I can insert a page. I'm not going to say what happens. Is a Nana's page. I will not say yeah, page caption also again. Nana's page. So in this page, I can add some elements, whatever you want. And on this page is there. Go there, add it. So go to the structure area, and then I can add some something now. Fine. So in the structure, what happens? Only the mandatory structures can be added, not the what's called your supplementary structures cannot be added here. Fine. Only the mandatory ones can be added. I don't go to the accessories now. And then click on add. Go to add it here. So click on plus. We now see that it's added on. Okay. Fine. I will now say Nana's supplementary. It's a page creation. Sorry, it's a page creation. You click on edit now. Right? Click on edit now. Right? This page, you edit it. 
uh, page caption is coming, thank you for the comment. How to hide it now? You have to drag and drop or what? Ah, go to uh, this one, oh, and click on plus, I think. If you select and click on plus, that will be getting added. Add as a page item. So we can add it. So click on it. So any number of, any of the standard structures can only be added to your, your own custom pages and not the supplementary structures. So click on save and then test it and test it. So it will look like uh, the way uh, we saw while testing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not show you that. So you can now see Nana's page is coming. If you click on the Nana's page, you can now see one, one component. One of the standard structures can only be added. Now, if a guy has chosen what regular desktop, then what happens? He should not have any camera at all. The camera, what happens? I want to dis disable both the cameras because regular desktop will not have any camera at all. So I'm going to disable both. So in which case, what happens? You go there. I will not disable the camera for this one. So I will not go to the camera area. Click on the camera option class now. Fine. The camera option class is coming on the top. There's the edit now. Edit it. And then here, what happens? Okay. In this place, we have to edit it. I'm going to expand now. Here, I had to edit, not this place. I had to edit. So, edit means what? The components of a camera option class will not be shown. And click on edit, and then you're going to do it. I want to make it as what? Conditionally. And then go there. Other model note. Fine. There are plenty of options of that. You only have to explore, explore, and then see all these things. If regular desktop is now chosen, now find the component. So, go there. So, this is the one. Oh, God. It is not chosen, is it? It is not done at all. It is not done at all. Go there. So keep your cursor on the regular, select it. My left hand side, you select it. Select it and then go down and then click on OK. In the left hand side, you go, so you go near it and then see whether the regular is has come. Right? If regular desktop is not done, one of it should not be displayed. The previous day we used to display. Now it should not be displayed now. I will now go to the status selection of my selection status. And then here, whatever they'll now say, it is does not equal selected. If regular desktop is not, does not, then it should display, otherwise it should not display. Thank you. Okay. It is, does not equal selected. Thank you. Okay, no, fine. Then what I'm going to I will now give a save and then test it. So click on desktop. So here, if he is not choosing the regular desktop, then the cameras will be chosen. And the cameras. So cameras will be coming. If you go to the camera, go to the cameras will be coming. If you go to this place and then if you do the regular desktop, what happens? That will go away. If you go to this place, what happens? That will go away. So you got plenty of options. You only have to explore, explore, and then do it now. Got it now, fine. So it has got a lot of things. And then if you go to the UA elements again, what happens? You can even do that. You can even give a spacer now. Fine. I will not. Uh, I, I, I am not experimental on spacer. Fine. If you go to the spacer and then add a space now, fine. Click on plus now. I can even add a spacer actually. One space you can give now. Fine. How much of it and then how much of height now? Fine. I will know so height is what uh, fifty. Fine. Fifty. I can even put an inline style in the way now. Fine. Click on okay now. Fine. So I'm now giving a spacer actually. The spacer is now coming up. So the spacer is now coming. This is a spacer actually. So go there. So I will now give a space now. I click on save now and then test it. So click on test now. So the spacer has come in the bottom. So you can even incorporate the spacer at any stage now. It's not showing you find that. I will now push the spacer up and then show it. I will now go down. So the spacer, I'm going to push it up. I click on push up now. The 50 height of one. Now uh, between the camera option class three. In the camera option class, is not coming. I know inserted it in the camera option class. I should not have done this. Okay? I should have done it on the previous one. So, okay, let us not test it. On the camera option class, what happens? Before displaying it, some space is now coming up. This place. I have not done it. Thank you. I can save now. I will not test it. Now. Thank you. So, we are now given the space on the camera option class. So, if you go to the camera option class, you cannot find a space coming up. This much of a space is coming. Up. And then there is now push down basically. So we can even position the space anywhere, wherever you want. So for which, what happens, you have to keep your cursor first of all on the appropriate uh, mandatory class, and then afterwards create a space actually. When I did it on the camera option class, that's why it's not coming on. I frame is again, I don't know what to do. So these are the design actually. Right? This is a real web design. You have to bring it like what? Your Amazon.in or Dell.in. Likewise, what happens, you have to bring it now. Right? How difficult it is now, fine? Right? Is a very difficult task. There may be even more also. If you go on and have a look at the style sheet once again, and I'll say, change the display of caption, I've done it now. Fine. Insert an image, I've done it. Position the image, I've done it. Conditional display, I've done it now. Fine. Text for selection, I've done it. Disable camera option upon regular display. Space is all done. Add a page. Everything I've done it. I demonstrate everything, whatever I know now in this place. <laughs> there may be even more also. And that's it. Thank you.
So we have completed the configuration, then we are going to publish it. Any doubts on this now? It's a very, very tough task, laborious task, and then you have to do a lot of iterations here and there, and then do it now. It's not an easy job at all. So let me give a save, and then after having completed all the configuration, we are going to publish it. And give a save and close. Let us now publish it. So here, to publish it, what happens is the date must be in future, actually. So go there. Otherwise, the error will be coming. Otherwise, you cannot release it for production at all. And click on edit now. And I'll go there. So let me go on then. What happens is it's now showing you 156 is the time now. I will now make it as 157 and then do it now. Click on 157. One minute. Let me give a save now. You know, see if the error goes away now. So it's now saying 3.33 p.m. afterwards. Fine with that. So I will now say 3.34 p.m. 3.34 p.m. 34 p.m. And then click on save and close now. It must be after the time. So it is not done. Fine. Go there. Click on release to production. I will not click on release. There are multiple options. So click on release. I am not going to release it to production. So click on OK. So it will not take one more minute for what happens. It is not doing. I click on refresh now. Fine. It is not developing. Fine. The workspace effective start. It cannot be in the past. So I think. So go there. Click on edit. I will not make two minutes now. Fine. So 37. I will not make it. I will not make it. There is a fine. Save and close now. Fine. So third is the one, I know that. So click on release now, and click on place. So it is in a development, it is in still in development, fine, click on release now. So at 37, it will be released now, and the workspace will be released with an effective date of 337. So we had to wait for two more minutes. And then we can test it on the sales order, actually. Release is in progress now, fine. Click on refresh. Once it is released, click on refresh now, fine. We are going to test it on the sales order. So likewise, you have to make a model and then do it. I'm sorry, I'm taking some extra time. So let me finish it off and then do it. Release is in progress now. So once it is released, we can go on and test it on the sales order. Right? So 337 I given, that means what 97 my name, what happens? It will be available for me. But it is released actually. So at 97, if you go on and create a sales order, I will be able to see this. All the changes, whatever I'm making. So let me log out and log in. Collections not required. Collection. Uh, whenever you make a configurator, what happens? It need not be collected. Only item structures and then your uh, what's called your resources. Right? The routing has to be collected. A configurator need not be collected. Good question. A configurator need not be collected. Mm -hmm. So I wait for two more minutes to test it actually. Any questions now? Fine. It's confusing, right? Which one to be collected, which one not to be collected. <laughs> you have to only know by that. Now I will not take an opinion from you. Fine. If the configurator is easy, you can put a big tick mark. If it is a difficult, you can put an X mark now. You will now see how many of you are putting a green tick mark. Right? Because uh, <laughs> that is the first thing you have to put an X mark now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, if you find anybody, because some people will be having a lot of interest in uh, designing this website actually. And, oh God, not even a single person is putting a green tick now. <laughs> everybody is putting only an X mark now. So try to avoid this in the field actually. And it's a very laborious task. You just see designing this uh, user interface. It is a very, very laborious job. I don't say it's a difficult job. It's a laborious job. And then how much of labor you have to put in and then iteration, iteration, fine. And then finally, the customer is going to go up, 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 up. You will not keep on telling you and then you have to keep on doing it now. This is not at all an easy job. Right? It is just only for the web designers, actually. Those who are web designers. No, no, maintenance also a problem, I think. Maintenance also is a problem. Fine, it's not an easy one now. So difficult actually. And even I have shown you some structures with some simple examples. We may even have to write the CDL with the if then else and then so many conditional statements you have to put and then do it. Now, right? It may be even very complex also. You refer the configurator document. It has got a lot of options given there. Now, having understood the basics, then you can understand the manual very well. Actually. If you have the, what happens, if you have the work of working on it, you have to read the implementation manual of configurator. Actually. It's a must actually. Then it will give you. You can even shift to one of the models from one workspace to other space. And then there are so many permutations, combinations available there. And then you can do it. Okay, now we'll now go to the what's called our sales order when the you know, 897. And then what happens? You know, we'll now share my screen and then the model. So let us now go there. I think I logged out or logged in now. I think I've done it now. It's okay. You know, I will now again log out and log in. Yes, Nana, you've done it. 
Okay, anyhow, I know I will log again. Confirm it. You will come out of it. And then I will log again and log in. <clears throat> so let us now make a sales order. So go to the space, go to the favorites, and then let me get a sales order. Ah, this has got a different one of my favorites. Ah, I have not added anything at all. Recent items, are there any orders? Manage orders. Yeah. Ah, nothing is there. Very good. So I'll now go to, the, go to the order management. I'll now go to the order management and then let me get a sales order. So I will now put my model over here. My model is what? So my model is what? 1T301 now. Fine, 1T301. I'll take on create order. So let me put my model over here. 1T301. So drop it down. I will now choose my US1 business unit. And the computer services and medals. 1T301. 1T301. I'm going to give it that. So there is a model. Now the customer is going to configure it now. So it has got a price of 100, and then based upon which whatever you will be adding it. Whatever so configure and add. So the base price is 100, and then you'll be adding the components. So click on configure and add. You're going to use the going to configure and add. So click on configure and add. So we'll be configuring it. So here you say the base price is under. So he will now choose the regular desktop. Now, click on the regular desktop. The moment he chooses it, what happens? It comes over here. So along with it, the 8 GB RAM is also coming. The UPS is also coming. The total price he has to pay is one month. If he chooses remove it, what happens? Whatever he has removed, everything is gone. And then if you go to the business desktop, what happens? The business desktop is coming. Right? He has not added anything. Right? The business desktop is now only showing your figure, actually. <laughs> we are not adding any components on this. So we are not doing it. So the Nana's page is also coming, back. everything is coming. And then our own description, everything is coming. And remember, once when you completed the configuration and release to production, that need not be collected actually. Only the item definitions and then your routing and bill has to be collected. Right? The configurator, once when it is released to production, need not be collected at all. Any doubts on this now? Now, tomorrow we are going to do the manufacturing of it. Right? We will now configure it. And then we will now do the manufacturing of tomorrow. No, nothing has been done as far as manufacturing setups are concerned. Now, right? So I will be performing the manufacturing setups tomorrow. And then I will now manufacture whatever has been chosen. And then we'll be shipping it to the customers also. Choose it. Choose it. The regular stop here is coming. And then you can now see the bottom writing is also has to come off. So the writing is coming in the bottom actually. <laughs> it has to be positioned. Right? Remember how difficult it is now, right? You have to do the check only on a whatever the dummy sales order actually. You have to in the test instance for whatever the dummy sales order, you put it. Oh, God is not coming. You'll now go back and then do it now, right? Because that the display may not be so accurate actually. Right? So you may have to even test it on a sales order also. Yeah, no, no. The iframe comes like you create a frame so you can put the respective things also. That's what I'm Telling is all easy, but you see, doing is how difficult it is. Now, it is a laborious job. I don't say there is a buddhi lagana padega, is a kuch nahi is. So, these are all very laborious jobs. So, till now, whatever I have taught, if you have understood it, fine, mother, I will not clear all that. If you have understood it, can you put a green tick on your name now? The configurator configuration, if you have understood it, can you put a green tick mark? Great, fine, thank you. Fine, mother. So, you understood it. Only thing is, it's difficult. I know that now. Fine. If you understood it, can you put a green tick now? Fine. Good, good, good. Fine. So, so many have understood it. If you have to, what happens, go through the record and do it, can you put a slow, go slow icon? So, uh, those opening a go slow icon, what happens is somebody will help you out. Okay. Sweta, Sweta is saying go slow. Okay. No one, I will not agree with you, Sweta. <laughs> you are such an excellent girl now. Fine. You have to put a green tick now. <laughs> Sweta is going no, to. No, it is training. It trains to understand up to your speed. <laughs> okay, fine. So we'll now see. Saranya is saying that he has. She is going slow. Fine. Raghu is saying that. Okay, I, I I understand that. What happens? You have to go through this. Then only what happens? You can understand it. I know that. It is not an easy job. See again, it doesn't have any buddhi or anything like that. You need to have intelligence or something like that for configuring it. 
what you need is patience and then again do the iteration iterations and then position the things everything accordingly as per the client requirement it needs lots of patience basically tomorrow i am going to configure manufacturing and that is not difficult fine right? that is just a systematic way of doing it now fine right? manufacturing it is not a difficult one but configurator you need patience you must be a youngster if you are buddha if you are more than 30 years you are not fit for this job at all <laughs> because you won't have the patience to what happens again and again do the iteration and then keep on seeing where exactly which is appearing what fine <laughs> my students are struggling because company do not have any youngsters at all and they have been given this job and then they were sitting and then sitting hours together they sit and then they they create the one thing like that okay fine good anand you are not able to understand it why why you are not getting a tick mark on this now fine amit come on you are not put a tick mark have you understood it amit yeah yeah i sir understood it but i want to revise it also okay you even put a go also good uh, uh, not a very common nana one Uh, one question, Nana. Uh, this uh, CPQ does this kind of activity also? No, no, no. CPQ do not design. It. CPQ is only for configure page and code, and then it will not design the page. Page design is not there. Page design is there only in the configure page. Okay. If you are uh, integrating CPQ with this, yeah, yeah. you still have this configurator module. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can integrate configurator along with the CPQ. Fine. That you can do. If you're doing it, they will also be having this. And remember, for configurator, you must have a license. If you don't have a license, you cannot do it. Okay. So tomorrow we are going to see the manufacturing of this. Now, right? Manufacturing is a systematic and methodical manner. You do this, you do this, this is that's all. It will get manufactured. That's it. But configurator is not like this. Configurator, you have to position your images in a very proper manner. And then uh, the choice selection is okay. Fine. If regular is not chosen, that is not disabled. That is that and all is okay. But image positioning. Is a real, real tough task. No, no. Have you worked in Artworld uh, configurator also, by chance? No, no. no I have not worked on it. I, I, I learned it once, and then afterwards, I never even touched it because of this import, this point, this sort of as this web design sort of a thing. I never even practiced it. I attended one training, and I was an oracle. I was taught this configurator. <coughs> I did not even practice that basically because this is not my cup of tea at all. I told my management that I will not conduct any training on configuring the box. I don't like that subject. But you people cannot say I don't like it. <laughs> it is given on you. Why you only have to sit and do it? Fine. <laughs> the very trainers we can do all this thing. No way. Any other questions from any of you? So tomorrow we are going to manufacture this box. So good then. Bye for now, and then we'll all meet tomorrow at five thirty PM. Thank you. Yeah, bye, Nana. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Thank you very much.